Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Let's chat a little bit. So today is going to be uh, one of two excuse me, bonus streams for PSO. So we'll go for about, say about five hours. And we'll take a bit of a break and then we'll return in the evening. About an hour and a half after that, maybe two hours. So I guess the question is, Murphy, what are you looking for? Have your priorities shifted from Heaven Striker, Excal, Red Ring? Wrapping all my stuff in PoE since I've been kind of neglecting it a bit for PSO this month. <laughs> Makes sense. PSO is definitely the time to play. Wouldn't mind about a spread needle or frozen shooter. Sure, we could do those. I was actually about to ask you if you wanted to get a spread needle. So that that is what we call a happy coincidence, because I am looking for just to say that we found one <laughs> this event. I feel like we got kind of robbed last time. We had unfortunate drops when we were doing the spread needle hunts. Because from that standpoint, Merlin should probably give us the most. So it would be probably a combination of either just doing Ruins quests quickly or doing Fragments of a Memory. I guess we could warm up with a little bit of um, of the event. Yeah, I think I only have one that has hit. The rest of them are just kind of okay. Though I believe there are 33. Yes, there are 33 of the things to hunt in the event quest. Which is not as good as the cookie quest. But... I think this also is a thing that isn't run enough. Let me check the uh, anniversary event. Actually, Ruins is pretty good. Never mind. Ruins really caught up. I looked yesterday, it was at 10,000 points. Today it's 14,000. So somebody's been putting in the Ruins grind. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. Yesterday morning, it barely broke 10k. Holy. Well, it seems people are catching up on the mines, huh? So I think due to all the mill lilies popping up. Either way, I guess we could still add to the event in technicality. The only question is what ID to play into it. Spread Needle is available in a few different ones. I think the problem with the Atrocity Quests is just... The gear requirement is kind of high. And the payoff isn't really there. Right? Like, it's not that I think they're necessarily bad quests. It's just... Why would you play them over a focused, purposely boosted run for area in a limited time quest over the Atrocity quest? Do you know what I mean? I feel like if it didn't have those other event quests, it probably would have been played a bit more. But, like, the fact that, like, if you look at the numbers, like, Tower is 7,435 points. Like, people, people quote-unquote like Tower. We have Tower Defenders, quote-unquote, in our streams. And the, the points don't lie. It's one of the least played quests compared to literally everything else. It's only beating Seabed, Spaceship, and the Atrocities at the moment. And again, it's kind of like there are other ways you could get Daylight Scar, like we were playing uh, like full episode 4 quests. Um, and while Spaceship is decent, it's not going to be as much value as your Desert or your Forest. So if anybody thought, if anybody tries to tell me that anything other than Forest isn't one of the best hunts of the game or Desert, uh, I, I definitely think the points don't lie on this one. And I think Cave is just overinflated due to Purple Millily. I think people overvalue that hunt, to be honest. I guess I could technically play Yellow ID into it. Let's go uh, switch into the game itself. I was gonna say... <laughs> Does chat want to potentially carry a Humar? We could say that I leveled him today. Now I'm just double checking what enemies are in the event quest, because I know there's some that are missing in some of the quests, so I'm just double checking this. So typically yellow would get, for example, if there's Death Gunners, it gets Guardiana, which is not bad. Bringer's Right Arm is kind of good for new players, I don't mind picking up more. Indie Bellwer giving Heavenly Arms is one of the better drops outside of like a Guardiana from some of the other IDs. Psycho 1 from Bulk is not bad, and more importantly, Lodemian. So yellow, purple, and green give it. But honestly, I don't think purple has a lot of value in it. 
compared to some of the other ones. Like, at least we could get, like, a Monkey King bar in Psycho 1 if we go green. Yellow is just kind of, like, an all-rounder. It's... Just need to double-check one thing. I don't know why the quest isn't loading for me. Kind of unfortunate. Why is this not loading? This is crazy. Wiki, please. <laughs> I just wanted to see what the event quest had. There we go. Wow, that took forever. So it technically is more sor sorcerers than Volclaws, but Volclaw has a better drop rate. I'll still go yellow ID. So it's, it's one of those things where... Because it's also every episode, there's just kind of a lot of dead drops, too, if you compare it to, like, the December quest. Like, what I think made the December one so good is that if all you wanted was episode 2 drops in general, it kind of behaved like an endless. So, like, if you just had a generally strong ID, like a white ID or, like, even potentially a purple ID for late game farms, there were a lot more, like, defined IDs for people to play. And I think because it's every single enemy, I like it in concept, but it's just, like... It's competing with all these other value hunts where, like, these are arguably, like, the top three, top four quests uh, for every single hunt in the game. <laughs> like, like the event quest is on nearly every single enemy as, as one of their top three, if not their number one in multiple scenarios. So it's kind of competing with a lot more. So I like the idea, but dot dot dot. Uh, chat's gonna help me level humor, I guess. We'll play some yellow ruins. Should probably grind up his Vulcan. Look at even his dark percentage. It's like I'm trying. So... Yeah, like, I, I didn't really, like... I don't feel like I had, like, a strong aversion when I played it. I just felt like... I don't think this is something I can really run with most of my characters because it just has like a higher requirement. It, it's it's that payoff, as I said before. Yeah, so it's like it it kind of it gives the impression of like there's not really an ID that's really fun to play as because it's like oh you know these quests are geared towards these IDs, so I have an excuse to break out this character. It's kind of like you pick anybody. No worries, Charlie. Happy to support. But it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, again, like, there's a lot of good value hunts that were in, like, the December version of it, where it did something where it pulled enemies from other areas. Just the big problem is because it pulls from so many different areas, it's basically treating everything like an uber drop, which is not a satisfying, I would say, run from that standpoint. I don't remember there being, like, a problem wave, and that's why I was saying, like, if you replace a lot of those enemies with just ones of that episode. I don't think most people would care. Uh, so I'm assuming we're good to go. I don't see anybody else hopping in. Yeah, and, and, and that's what I'm saying, Murphy. So because of all the other ones that are so focused... Oh, you're on your way. I'll wait a bit then. So because the other ones are so focused and they are literally like the number top three, if not number one on a large majority of the items in this game, including a lot of the like top six weapons in the game, it's kind of brutal to have to do that. Oh, no worries, Charlie. I think it's slash raid and then space and then the name. And no worries. But it's just one of those things where like I like it in theory. It, if it actually was like a much longer quest and just had like... If it was just jam-packed with spawns, maybe people would play it more. But I feel like that would also kind of ruin the pace of the quest and they'd have to rebalance some things. I don't know. Like, it's one of those things where I didn't feel like I was walking for an eternity. I don't feel like I was overwhelmed by BS while playing it, because I felt that way about a lot of the custom quests in episode 2. Yeah, where, like, they would have to... Yeah, exactly. They would have to, like, potentially triple the points or something. Hmm. 
Oh no, sorry about the demo frames not working out. Yeah, poor Charlie was playing Final Fantasy 16, I think it was, demo. We saw the FPS counter and the cutscene go to 4 at one point. Ooh, slotted to D-parts, nice. So we're calling it Final Fantasy 16 frames per second. There we go, look at that. I debuffed as the Humar. Look at me. I'm playing support force <laughs> on this character of all characters. I know, welcome him and parameter. I think our goal is to run this quest until one of us gets the, the spread needle at minimum, or four. In case we get it in the first four, we'll run to four. Yeah. I was gonna say, we had a hot take on stream last time. I'm not gonna name the person, but I will say, I was kind of laughing about it because, um, we were talking about how, like, uh, the, the hot take was Tales games are kind of all the same. And then I'm laughing because when I was watching, like, Final Fantasy 16, I could see in a lot of ways they're slowly turning into a Tales game, little by little. Kind of amused by that where it, it, it emphasizes the act of combat. Although I think that that Dumbo in particular was starting to make it more... I don't want to say Souls-like, but it emphasized more parries, which is not quite uh, Tails. Get rid of these Indie Belras. Look at me, I'm helping. Yeah, Stranger's Paradise remind me of that a bit. So I see I see them sampling a little bit with genre. How, how would you describe the demo? Because I only saw a couple minutes of the, the most recent one. What combat system does it remind you of? Because I feel like it's kind of like the... I believe the analogy is like the Ouroboros, where, where they, they eventually circle upon each other. Like one... One game defines a genre, and then another game copies that game, and then that game copies the other game, etc, etc. The endless circle of updates. Although, watching that made me want to play Guji on 3, I'm not gonna lie. Like, damn, that game was good. Thank you for the heal. I don't know how I'm gonna handle the Indie Belra on the other side. I don't think I have a good weapon for him. to give a salute to my buffs. Serve me well, buffs. And I kill this guy with this gun. Oh, somebody help me. Thank you. I could go for the other one. That's going to be across the way in a little bit. I'm surprised I actually remember this song. There we go. Just be warned, there's going to be three Darkbringers near the door exit after the Sorcerers. So we probably need like a Freeze Trap over there once we're done with the Sorcerers. So they're all going to be lined up. They could be really chaotic if you happen to be on like where I'm standing. Because they'll all try to charge you, which is really bad in this area. Once this guy is gone, 
finish things up. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a debuff here. Nicely done. Yeah, that, that's probably one of the more annoying spawns in this quest. Because if, if you're on the other side and you don't know about that, you just get stomped. And it just gets annoying as they dart back and forth. But once you know it's there, it's not that bad. I don't remember what this room is. Oh, the indie bell rose in the corner. That's fine. Okay, one down. Built some meter. Hello, Darkbringer. Nice. That Darkbringer, at least we could kind of react to, but it's good to freeze that. So we'll remember Indy Belra's into Darkbringer near the door wall. And it's just kind of split up waves. There's not really a... This is where, do you have three casts? That that was the three cast check, as I like to call it. We have like three distinct groups where it's like, there's no way one player can handle them all. But when you look at it, you're like, yeah, this is meant for fast clears. And we have an annoying sorcerer waiting with the Darkbringers. Fortunately, we have a cast here. I want you to know... Yeah, the three cast rule, exactly. I want you to know, I was doing this as Hugh Newell, and I was so sad. <laughs> like, I can't freeze these. <laughs> this is so bad. Profound sadness. Hope you're doing well, Tiggy. I think it's Sorcerer sorcerers after this. I know there's gonna be one where there's like five sorcerers. Then I think when it goes five sorcerers, it's then like four dark bringers. And once I see the sorcerer waves, I think that might be my visual cue that the bad things are coming. Glad you're doing okay, Tiki. Yeah, I think as long as we basically control the cardinals, the enemies can't really do that much. Oh my spell setup inverse. That feels weird. Oh yeah, do that slow kick. That's rude. No, leave me and my cycle one chance alone. There we go. Is this the sorcerer wave? Yeah, it feels like it. I think here they come. <laughs> so I guess if we see a big pause, we know we need to group up so we get the sorcerers closer together. In single player, they form a ring, but it's usually pretty tight. So get ready after this for Darkbringers. Oh, I'm so dead. A few more. He tried. I got him down to like 300-ish. Close. Alright, so I know Darkbringers are coming up after this. I guess we just stick to a wall, maybe? And just have them all come to one side? There we go, nice freeze. I I noticed a distinct I noticed this distinct grouping around the Humar. Were they all charging me? Excuse me. Feel a little targeted here as the Humar. Persecution complex with Humar. It's like, wait a minute. Why were they all on one side? Oh game. Take that. Yeah, pretty fast quest. So I don't mind doing like a ton of these because they're at least pretty quick. And it gives guaranteed badges, which helps. So we'll do a few more. I was gonna say, Humar can't be bottom tier. He could do angry stomps.
Yeah, so I think if we end up clumped together versus the Sorcerer Wave, and we all stick really close together, we could potentially bait them into a charge with a Twin Blaze and a Freeze Trap. Maybe that would work in multiplayer. I have to think about multiplayer rules versus single player. Single player, I would just pick a corner and let them all charge into it. But I think it's more realistic in a group to just get a Twin Blaze going. Or I could use my whack uh, Gafoe to stop the charge. Just be dead center. It's like I'm using Twin Blaze because it's so bad. Up. I have gift, yeah, you're right. Uh oh, he can almost survive episode four lasers. He's getting there, chat. Like two more levels. I think I equip the partisan like I'm ever gonna use it as this character. Like, he, he doesn't have accuracy without Red Ring. Get out of here. I know what it's like is the Huna roll. I'm lucky to even have 100% on that one special with 50 hit. If I had Lieutenant... Oh, I do have Lieutenant Mana on. Wait a minute, hold on. I could shoot people's traps. How's that? That'll be more valuable than my DPS. Also, where's my Disco? Damn. Gotta go get it from the bank later. I thought I just wasn't seeing it earlier. I'm like, no, it's just non-existent. There we go. And they all started going backwards. That's exactly what I don't want them to do. Oh well. I tried. Come on, Psycho Wand. I want to see that bulk hole, Psycho Wand. Show up the ticker. This poor Darkbringer. Just by himself. What is he gonna do? Nothing. I kind of wish they did a double dark breaker in that room. Bring up the value of the dark bringer, spread needles a bit. Cause right now it's like completely eclipsed by uh, Merlin's, and we could get better hunts out of it. Check the bullet for the team. This wave is kind of funny because, like, if you're playing single player, you could just basically kill the bulk balls as the sorcerer spawns in. Just by himself and gets wasted. Shoot the freeze. Love to see the team going ham on the traps. This is a pretty short run. Makes, which again, also makes it easier than, like, an August Atrocity. So it's like, you don't get the mental fatigue some of the longer quests do. Like, when you do an Endless, I like Endless, but you gotta be ready for Endless. You don't want to feel like you're being held hostage in a run. You know what? I'll pick up the Dive Fluid. Why not? How did gel in 30? Oh, wait, hold on. Why would I play humor if I don't feel like I'm being held hostage? I'm allegedly having fun. Allegedly. I will say, I do like that the humor can debuff. I think that helps a little bit with some of his solo escapades. I don't feel great about it in multiplayer. But at least I could do some of the harder areas with debuffs. So we know there's going to be an Indie Bell on the left side. 
So basically, I think for these two rooms, there should be always somebody on the, like, the entrance, and then two people taking care of Indie Belra. So people that are good at crowd control should handle, like, the right side. And then we know there's going to be an Indie Belra on the opposite side, so I'm going to shuffle downwards a bit. Yeah, the fact that that doesn't hit Olga Flow is such BS. Uh, uh, like, that's actually messed up. Alright, so I'm going to line up for the uh, Indie Bell right here. Well, thank you for the paralysis. And again, I'm going to try to group up a little bit because I know it's going to be Sorcerers. So that way that, that kind of helped the other players. And then we know where Murphy's standing will be the uh, other one. I'm s surprisingly not targeted by Grants. <laughs> I love we just we just saw low health. We both just hit the rest of the button. Well, oh, they're so done. GG. Good placement of traps. But you want to see. Like those waves are so bad for newer players when they get out of control. Like I think we have enough health to survive some charges. Well, maybe. I I think I have barely enough health. <laughs> Let me reclarify. But people that are in like the lower levels or have like bad armor, because my armor is actually pretty good too. Let's kind of get Molly Wap by uh, multiple swings of the Darkbringer. Thank you for the freeze. Very polite. There we go. Getting a nice little freeze trap into Deepa. Help the team out. And 1142 is like not that bad with ATP, so it feels like at least I'm contributing a little bit. Like I'm not contributing to like the the trap, sadly. There's like a couple of times where my debuffs mattered. This feel bad when I get bodied like this. There's not much I could do. Just need levels. But more more situations like this, I'll pop a free debuff. That way the rangers can focus on traps and stuff like that. And then when we do get that window opportunity, they just explode. You know what's actually funny though? When I'm playing with less swan, if I do like normal, 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 it'll kill a bull claw. But if I do normal, normal power attack, it actually pushes them away and I can't get the kill. So dumb. Who would have thought power attack stops you from getting a kill, even though it hits? I'm about to get buffed, I think. Oh, chat save me. Yeah, I need Disco for like those runes. I'm gonna move over to the sides a bit more. Rip my face. I'm gonna clump back up with the group. Should be sorcerers, and then we pick a corner. So most of them were closer together since we're pretty close together. I'm gonna pop a crystal so he doesn't hit the groove. Okay. So we. I guess I could pretty much just Gafoe. What are they gonna do? Charge me? Idiots. I like that Mike Bowie popped the freeze trap. That was also kind of funny. Advanced Humor tactics. Fire blue. 40 hit club of disappointment. And things never change. 
to make a new game, but then I'm going to look for the other uh, Disca. I should have a Charge Disca or a Spirit Disca. Honestly, I'd probably even use the Spirit Disca at this point if it had 55 hit, because I think he does have one. I just want to be able to hit the claws. Yeah, he's, he's going full, you know, V101, Double Heavenlies. See what he has. Charge disc. Oh, she has the charge disc with 55 hit. Well, that's interesting. Must be my uh, Huda World that has the spirit version. But I mean, I'll take that. That's above average. Hmm. I think I really care about the rest of these items. We'll do at least, say, three more. That way we could say we did it for almost a solid hour. This is like a little bit like nine minutes per run. And we could do some frozen shooter stuff. I know, we're going to do Viridian Temple. That'll throw people off. Truly the optimal frozen shooter hunt. He's gonna level up. You did it. You leveled a Humar in this session. How does it feel? Yeah, let's stick to the Disco for a little bit because there's enough enemies to make this tenable. charge weapons. I'm gonna sort my inventory so that this is back at top. There we go. Yeah, I could put my Jaya away since I'm not doing boss hunts. I should have a little bit with the menuing. That was just rude. I think it's the use paralysis. Oh, he's not using Smart Link. That's right. I gotta be careful. I was like, wait, how did that miss? But Chad is enjoying the Soul Calibur 2 soundtrack. Beginning the death race. Back to 
back to Disco. Wait a little bit for the team. No sense in humor going first without some backup. That is not the angle I was going for, but that's fine. Staff add Soul Edge to PSO, please. Feeling when you miss a 109% because you don't have Smart Link. Actually, that's a good question. Does this character even have a Smart Link? I might actually have to go get one, unironically, at some point. I used to have one per character, and then I thought to myself, I'll never use the Humar again. Which, to be fair, that did happen for like a whole year. <laughs> it just didn't touch them at all. Ouch. Hi. Definitely miss having B band. <laughs> what are my thoughts on the yellow bunch changes? Uh, generally don't like them. I think it makes like RT a little stronger. It makes self found a little worse for stink frame. You lose access to that. But yeah, they, they hard nerfed uh, Lost Soul Blade. So I, I don't view most of these as like a... Like, it's a change that they were going to do at some point. It was inevitable, but... It definitely means that I, I'm not really going to run Lost Soul Blade at all ever again. So if that's their intent, that's great. I just feel like it, it just introduces a lot of really boring runs to the rotation. Kind of like where I'm not a fan of the Sky ID or on Detonator, since it's, it's it still favors the same quests over and over. Oh my gosh, it's getting knocked down left and right. Where like everything is new mop up operation three or four. Right, if I debuff them, how much damage do they do? So I'm, I'm sure some people will do some dwarf on surface stuff. Like, that's always going to happen with, like, the Christmas event. But, like, I, I, I will never do, like, a cookie surface run ever again, for example. On, like, any ID. Yeah, they're doing crazy grinds for that cycle one right now. Like, me personally, I'm not interested in the heart of items. If you look at it, like, from, like, a trading standpoint, it definitely got better for RT and potentially things like quote-unquote box runs and stuff like that, but... It's like, uh... I think yellow's mostly in a good place. I'm just surprised they didn't nerf white ID, to be honest with you. Like, Viridian and Green ID getting slapped, and then, like, Yellow uh, and then White ID, like, D don't look at any of my runs. <laughs> okay.
terrible Gafoe saves. Let's go. Sort of. <laughs> I should have cast it one more time. Also, none of them charged me, which was awkward. They all went around me. Rip. No one believed in the Gafoe. Escape doll. Yeah, we'll do two more so that he levels again, and then we'll probably switch off. I think overall we'll kill about 122 with a 1 in 900 chance. But if we times that by 4, we're realistically doing almost a 500 and 900 chance. And then you gotta factor in the rare and drop rate increase, which impacts both of them. So it will be pretty unlucky if we don't see them in 2, because we're, we're essentially almost raw 50-50 with luck. Before you even factor in uh, all the rare bonuses. A bit unfortunate that literally zero players are not about to potentially not see another spread needle. It's unfortunate. Well, welcome, Mer or Mel, excuse me. Hopefully, you're doing well. And just let me know, chat, if there's people that are waiting to hop in a run. We can rotate out as needed. I guess we could play we could replay the atrocities <laughs> and come to a, a more determined opinion or there's certain waves we feel are kind of lackluster or it would have been neat if there were more enemies or slightly different ones because before we played it and we just thought it was okay but like not usually worth running over the event ones maybe at some point we'll give it a shot i don't know if it'll be this session or part two for now we're focusing on some hunts that are quasi event related. I'm surprised we're not at least seeing like a Guardian or a Heavenly Arms. I feel like that's also kind of unlucky. To not a if we're not going to see Spread Needle, to not at least see one of those. A little disappointing. badged. Brutal. So, so far, no Psycho one. That's kind of to be expected. Seeing those would be the miracle. Yeah, as a reminder, every one of those bull claws is technically Psycho one, with better drop odds than the Sorcerer by a lot.
Man, that camera pulled me in the worst possible way to hit all of those targets. That sucked. Oh, for those wondering, the last unlock was Masada up. I just says nah, oof. Unfortunate. Goodbye, Claws. It's actually a good lineup for me. Sorcerer. I almost combo kill them already. I think in like 20 levels that'll actually combo kill them. Like a, the hint of a debuff. Sorcerer is trolling. He's just teleporting on my screen repeatedly. Whatever. There we go. I don't know why I dodged towards it, but it still worked. It's like, I saw it on my right side, and I'm like, quick, go to the right! <laughs> I still dodged it somehow, though. Question mark. I'm still gonna take that in the face. That sucks. His debuff time. Like, leave us alone and drop your psycho wand. What a tease. More badges. Lined up, that sucks. A little slow on the quick slot there, but that's fine. As long as it gets through eventually, I guess. So many spread noodles being used. Poor enemies. Hey. 
There we go. Better clustering equals easier freeze trap. I was gonna say, if the team believes, they'll still know that you are. Let's see. I'm gonna wait a second. Oh, teleported away. That's annoying. Let's go for it here. Oh, I stopped two charges. Take that. At least we're slowly building up potential gold badge fodder. <laughs> That's how I view these kinds of quests. Okay, final one. You'd say we leveled the Humar not once but twice, chat. That's how much we, we played with them today. And again, I don't think he's, like, terrible. Like, 1146 is, like, some serious Charge Vulcan targeting damage. I just need the rest of his stats to kind of catch up a little bit. Definitely makes him feel less terrible to play in single player. Say Murphy's character is solid 137 now. And then I guess I could switch over to my raw moral for some white forest hunts. She needs some experience as well. I'm gonna say final ruins run. We did five attempts. But sadly, the odds do not seem to be in our favor. So it'd be 33 times five is the number of attempts each individual player had. Unfortunate. Sorcerers. I was gonna say, sometimes we hear things like credit music and then there's songs after it. I'm like, is that the actual end of the soundtrack or did they just do stuff out of order? I think once this character gains enough levels to Smart Link, he's going to feel a lot better. Because I, I am still missing some of my sacrifices, despite being max accuracy and being at a, over 100. More accuracy. Oh, he's only within 4? So he's 1 Centurion ability away from being able to double Centurion. It's actually kind of an important threshold for him. That's a lot of tankiness and damage added in one level up. That also maxes his luck. I'll have to see what I could do with him that count wise. I'm sure he has a lot of power materials I could feed him. I'm just curious. <laughs> I 
I used five accidental HP materials. Nice. 73 power. 28 evade. Z9 defense. 19 low. I just maxed out him completely. Not worry about re wasting more materials than the Humar. Just take the power loss early. As I said before, he already feels better than some of the other characters I have. In terms of single target. Multi-target, he's hopeless. I, I just learned I'm going to accept that fact. But hey, if I need to shoot down an Indy Belra, he's pretty close. It's kind of like I'm attacking with my Rocket Seal right now. In terms of ATP. So it's like, I'm, I'm used to things like just barely not combo killing anyway. There we go. To say and we're doing Dango proud today. Nobody backwards has reached level 200. Nice. Like there, missing by 20 health, that's a, that's a tragedy right there. When you know you're gonna get like 200 more ATP later on. It's like an actual tragedy to miss by that little. It's supposed to be all in a charge Vulcan of all things. So sad. Nice level up. Hey, he's got enough accuracy. I could use another Centurion. Free up a Heavenly Arms. Question is, do I have another spare Centurion? I might actually not. Because I think I put the other one on the Hue cast. Surprisingly, when we got the Centurion, the chances are great idea. I did not get any. So sad. Kinda happy with the fact that I never really needed to go back to shop for healing. I think between level ups and rest of use, I've mostly been able to top myself off without items. Save me there briefly. <laughs> I saw him hunting me down and I'm like, oh, I'm so done. <laughs> what is the Humar gonna do? Let's assist with the bulk balls. Take that bullet for the team. Finish them all. All the sorcerers should be ultra close now. 
If chat wants to take it to the wall or leave it in the center, it's fine. I'll just try to follow where the group goes and get away. Sorcerer got away. Annoying. There we go. The plus and minus of Lieutenant Vandal. <laughs> I detonate it, but then if you place another one, I auto detonate. So I make up for it. Yeah, get rid of you. He just got it, yeah. Wow, almost less than eight minutes. If I was investing around, that could have been eight minutes. Gun year withdrawal and 50 hit. Disappointing. Alright, let's learn what the Humor max stats are. Things I don't know offhand for a 500. So this is why I did a guide. I wrote down the numbers, so I just gotta look at it. So I think I read I think I read that I had 28 evade, right? So it sounds like I was going for the max stat build. I think it's, it's, was it 73 power that he had? Yeah, so I think I'm going 73 power, and then it should be 69 defense. 28 evade. He's got zero mind. So I need to do nine more luck material if I don't care about my max stats. Uh, what makes sense? Sadly, I don't. I would have to switch characters to get the full materials because put the others away. I guess I'll go for min max. Evades only three off a cap. Yes. I don't think I have nine luck materials in the bank. I think I have like eight, not nine. Yeah, four there and then four on the other characters. Eight. It's not going to be enough. He could just eat the mine materials I have if I want. Wouldn't really help him do any damage, but I guess it would be there. So it looks like so I was setting him up for a min-max. I probably was realizing that I was going to make like five faux new mins and didn't really want to give him any uh, mine materials at the time, which just kind of makes sense. Yeah, this will be the final ruins attempt before we switch over. Might as well do one more. Otherwise, the Humar will never see the sun again. And then I have no idea what I was doing with my white Ramaral. I might have messed up her stats and then just said screw it, I think, at one point. <laughs> just gave her a lot of mind materials. Because I was thinking she was going to be uh, episode 4 the whole time. And then since then, I've realized I don't... I mean, like, I could get another limiter. But th I have been so unlucky with them that I've basically given up on them as a concept. Like limiter drops, yeah, not happening.
silver patched me. Nice. That was painful. I just missed another 108% due to uh, no smart link. Brutal. Stuff like that is going to make the Humar quality of life go up. I just need more base accuracy. Just so I can equip that unit. Unless I'm willing to get rid of a Centurion. I guess maybe I would, given how often I'm missing. Just fix that with some luck materials so I don't lose as many raw stats. totally ignoring me. What a punk. My life is easy if all I have to do is use Vulcans. Occasional Disca, it's not too bad. Wand, Psycho Wand. I was gonna say, I want nothing to do with that wall of enemies. Oh, thank you. Now I do. ED from Bulk, oof. Yeah, I love when we clump up like that. Oh, it's so good. it like just like a tiny bit too early but it's still got all of them a 
Oh, damn, seven minutes. Damn. Okay, let's do some wet eddy forest. And then after that, we'll see what runs people want to do. Probably gonna make at least one more bank of like raw casts, and then I'll think about how many hue casts I want to make. I wouldn't mind at least another one. The towels are going to go extinct at this rate, I think so. My damage is eh. I'll focus on buffs and debuffs, I think, a little bit. Here, um. Tellos going extinct. Goodbye, Tellos. on you portals. Bonk. Stop me from power attacking, but I still got him. <laughs> Talos basically raised their hands up and just got shot. So messed up. using Heaven Striker in this room. I'm like, uh, no matter who it aims at, I'm happy. As well as get some free damage, I guess. Oh, my bad. I didn't realize you were trap stacking. Boom. But this wave takes forever. I was just gonna set a fireball. One. I love them walking into fireball and not doing anything. I 
hold out. I mean, the fact that Forest 1 is giving us like 240 experience a second is just dumb. Like, I'm just shaking my head. Sorry, my material. I'm not going back for you. sword with 50 hit come on are you trolling me i'm putting that on the wall of shame seriously oh man that's definitely a shake my head moment chat like come on what is that like fine yeah pretty much Brutal. Oh, this zombie is too far from me. Oh, welcome, Tycoon. Hope you're doing well. It's going okay. I feel a little tired today, so I think a break in between will be nice at some point. We still got some time to go, for sure. Let's put out one fireball to slow them down. They walk towards me. I mean, it did stop that guy from shocking. I mean, come on, that was a five minute run. Come on. <laughs> like the silver badge dispenser right here. As I said before, the fact that this is giving more XP than like almost every quest. Some quests are not equal. Find anything good so far? No. Uh, it's going on the wall. Where is it? Snip and tool action here. Truly really shameful drop. I found like almost nothing to be honest. I don't even know if I picked up a PD this run so far. I don't think so. <laughs> Where where's that 50 hit when we're rolling for like daylight scar? Film when you see Saps on the floor with Charger hit. Mm. Yeah. The whole thing comes from Hellcleave's Wall of Shame. He said he was collecting an a list of items that disappoint him. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just do it on Discord? I'm not into, like, meme stuff or, like, share your pets or whatever. But I feel like we could share the pain. <laughs> Wall of Shame. Get out of here, random moths. Got a 
I'm assuming I'm gonna stand here so I can actually get my charge attack out. There we go. Last time I got trolled pretty hard. I think I took a photo a long time ago. I got like a 75 hit sniper with the special, but it was like it was like heart or something. <laughs> it's just so useless. I just I just couldn't even use this for anything. It's so sad. I was like that was the first time I realized the hit numbers actually become increasingly red as you go up. What what a way to learn. That's how that works on the hit charts. Deep red, but eternal sadness. I'm just gonna wait a bit. I'll chill on the Gafoe here. I was gonna say the worst part is I found that on my Qcast. I felt like the game was actually having a laugh. It's le legitimately garbage. I like, oh, are you on Sky ID? No, I think you're on Sniper ID. Try again. I think that's the highest I've ever seen roll, because it was 75 unidentified for clarity, and it teched up to 85 if I really wanted to. Just disappointed. I swear, if that was another Flowens with like 50 hit, you can roll all zeros, I don't care about that. so much damage on this team, I kind of feel bad for them. What could they even do? Comboed with my own fireball. So close. I'd hit the other guy though. A silly run. Should probably pick up these mine materials. Next one should level me. Yeah, we, we got Murphy's character to like 120 by taking him to desert and stuff like that in like about two hours. So if you're playing multiplayer, the experience is like completely broken right now. So even this character is still leveling at a decent rate, even in Forest, which is very silly. 
So I think like two more levels and I'll be happy with them. Yeah. I'd be willing to maybe help some ults out at some point during the week. We did earlier to help people get from uh, very hard to ultimate. Because it only takes like an hour and a half. It's like I don't mind setting some side, some time aside. Was that the end of the soundtrack? Oh, no. I was gonna say, is that the end of the soundtrack? ESO stealing my mouse as usual. She's also at the point where if I had another century and it would actually be helpful. Because I don't think I mind losing two accuracy in single player to take 30 more ATP. She's more having trouble killing. She's not having trouble hitting. Arguably, I could even put a heavenly power on that. Might not be a bad idea, actually. Like, six accuracy might be a bit much. But like, 3 accuracy in Forest, which is where I was playing with this character. Now you always overcap. I don't even need Red Ring to uh, get the guaranteed. <laughs> That's what Ranger Wall is for. Nice, they got a uh, Red Ring. I was gonna say, when it cycles over to even beat, I might do like a pod run with this character. She, she almost has enough health to survive as is. But by the time we do it, she'll have enough. This 882 is laser damage. That should be fine. We'll do a celebratory pod or something maybe today. Is not the one I wanted to aim at, but that's fine. Four enemies. I'm gonna go back for those of my materials since I know I have like a million years to go pick these up. basically on time for that wave. That's crazy. So the way I see it is if she puts on a heavenly HP, she might survive Epsilon? It'll be 1300 minus 1060, or 260, which will be 1040. So all she needs is to swap out one Heavenly Arms for an Addict. And that would give her the health she needs to survive. If I wanted to start doing tower runs with her, she's almost there. Welcome, Plasma Mike. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, he's okay so far. <laughs> I just see a cast beelining towards me. I know what that means. <laughs> Buff me, you fool! It's the unspoken language. Oop, my bad. 
Okay, let's get rid of these. Hmm. So far, no enemies of interest. It would be funny if we did get the Uber before we saw Hilda Tour. So many HP and mine materials. No wonder why I didn't have trouble making forces. Play like three hours of this. You just end up with like 50 mine materials. Don't even need to trade in badges. Speaking of which, get rid of that. I guess I'll get rid of my 50 hit blowing sword, whatever. Not the good one. I'm gonna say the good one's in yellow boss, that I know. Nice, got the level up. Alright. I'm only 5 accuracy from not needing a Heavenly Arms. 2 from just getting away with a Centurion and capping Luck. She's also pretty low on Luck due to how she's set up. Yeah. Getting close. Oh no, chat's dropping all their rares. Whatever will happen to them. Into the void. two more and we'll mix it up so we could say we've now gone for the power six i'm calling them temporarily seeing if there's anything worth bumping in the anniversary event that i actually feel like going for so that is kind of the downside. All, all the popular ones are done, so it's like, how badly do I want to do X, is the question I find myself asking. Refresh the list. So getting closer to 8,000, Temple, Spaceship, Seabed, Tower, Atrocities are stopping us from getting to 8k. Mm. Hello? Weird. I said I didn't confirm on the controller, it wasn't doing anything. I had to like click out, click back into PSO. Weird. First PD of the day. Got my second PD of the day. Is that the end of the soundtrack is what I'm asking myself now. It is. thinking if there's like a heaven striker run I want to do other than pod. Is white ID is kind of bleh? But technically if other people host it's not too bad. If we wanted to do a green ID heaven striker run that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I'd just bring in pew pew laser. So 
This character is very much geared towards maximizing MST. I think she's about on par with like a level 185 from Oral. She has extra mind materials. Yeah, let's go for that. I don't feel like doing what I depod. I don't mind pew pew lasering. It should be good to go, I think, by next quest. And I did say I wanted to level this character. And then at some point when we do ETF, I'll probably switch back into the Hue cast. Because he's an absolute monster. And now that I have the S part freed up, I'm more likely to make more Hue casts. I will say that that item is like an actual like night and day difference, how much better it makes the Hue cast. Like on the Hue Casil, it's nice if you're looking to do like hell runs, but on the Hue cast, disgusting. Yeah, Pew Pew only cares about your MST, it does not care about your ATP. So I have like a Pew Pew Mind Mag, for example. Wow, we went from zero PDs across like uh, 12 runs, or 9 runs or so, to 3 in 1 run. The law of averages is trying to balance out, I think. Yeah, weirdly the Ramar has a different damage formula than the Ramarl. So he's slightly more competitive with her than you would think, despite the big MST difference. There we go, remote battery learning. See, this is why we gotta articulate why we do certain things. Oh, Pew Pew is useless on cast, the, the, except for the very hilarious situation where if you're fighting the false spinners, they do just enough damage to one-shot those spinners so you could room clear as the cast. But if you have a Heaven Punisher on them, <laughs> you can disrespect falls with uh, destroying the spinners with Pew Pew Laser. There you go, there's there's your strat for Heaven Punisher. <laughs> that way you keep your invincibility mag. They're like, look, it's meta. A another 40 hit, come on, what are with these flow and sword hit rolls? What's going on? I'm getting tilted. Get out of here, flow and sword. I don't want to see you with any hit percentage. Save that RNG for later. I think I'm averaging like three mind materials every time we do this run. It's kind of insane. How many am I up to just today? Nine. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate statement then. I'll tease up a striker bag cell for a rock ass. Ooh. Yeah. That would be very silly. I think it's three minutes until it starts, but we have enough time to do another one of these runs. Only a five minute run. I don't know if somebody else make the game. It's not even the right flow, it's stopped pretty much. There, we could say we did, what, at least five Frozen Shooter attempts? No Hilda Tours. And we could go back to Heaven Striker, Galatine. Trolley Centurion ability. I don't think we have a red ID with us currently. We have a pink, two greens, I think. We'll probably have Murphy make the game after this. Just let me know, chat, if there's anybody that's waiting to play. I, I do want to try to be fair. We go through pretty one. Pretty quick rotations. Build tours aren't real. Yeah. 
Your foam bar is red. Interesting. I'll think about it. It's like... If I feel like doing a full boss quest, I'd rather do green. But if we're just doing, like, surface or whatever, red makes a lot more sense. And then if I get trolled hard enough, I'm just gonna swap into yellow. Dango, hope you're doing well. You missed it, Dango. I was a Humar today. Chat can verify. Actually, I, I leveled twice. That's how that's how long I played Humar. I think he's almost ready to host an M list. I think in like five more levels, I'll consider it. I mostly just want him to get that smart link before I do it. I think I did okay with him. I got knocked down, I lost like 50% of my health when I got hit, but other than that it wasn't too bad. I might as well as rebuff in our infinite downtime that is this wait. You cast the 115? Nice, nice. Yeah, we'll probably do some green ID runs, I think, at some point. With the PP laser, since PP laser is almost online. And as I said before, this character is actually pretty good at pew pew laser. <laughs> they're, they're meant to be pew pew lasering. But I can do enough ATP to carry Faris, I guess. Don't mind me, just uh, grabbing some materials and then walking away. How do you feel about the Hugh Castango? I don't usually play a lot of Hunter, but I think he's making me almost want to play Hunter. Just because of how strong he feels. And if you've been playing, I think you said you got the S part, so I'm sure it'll I'm sure it feels like night and day. That 15 accuracy on him is so stupid. You're like, wait a minute, I can just, like, combo kill at level 120? Why? <laughs> like, aren't I- aren't I in ruins? No? Doesn't matter? Okay. Like, even now, I have a 172% chance to hit. So losing, like, one or two accuracy does not matter on this character for Forest. And definitely if I'm playing Pew Pew Laser, my accuracy does not matter at all. In fact, I might even swap into, um, a Heavenly Mind just to get more Pew Pew Laser damage. I was farming that LNK last night. Did you manage to get one, Dango? We might do some of those runs later tonight. I'm assuming you were either doing Viridian TTF or you were doing Yellow ID CCA. 
or something like that. I don't know where else you would hunt it other than those two spots offhand. But the fact that you can already bully everything is the UCAST in CCA is also funny. You're like, wait a minute, I'm stronger than every other character already and I'm only 115-ish? Sure. Seems fair. Uh, so I'll have Murphy make the game. I'll switch to the Pew Pew Laser. Leave it on green ID for now. Yeah, hit makes a big difference. He only cares about the hit percentage. If you could get one with hit dango, it's like, what a relief. Sweet spot is probably like 35 hit, but 30 is still pretty solid. Because that opens it up as like a false weapon once it gets above 30 hit. Otherwise, you're doing normals, which are okay. I'm playing Gradius. Did I pick that up? Yeah, you, see, it's it's a weapon that is meant for the Hue cast, for sure. If you have one with really high attributes, then it's good in Hue Seal. Just grabbing Ranger Ball real quick, sure thing. Actually, Marco, since we're waiting for Murphy, did you just want to make the game? So, oh, never mind. Disregard. Murphy is now here. LNK is the Gatling gun. LNK 38 combat is the one we're talking about. It is usable by all characters. It is really funny watching the phone Newman whip it out. We're off at 2.30 today, so we'll be able to farm out more. Nice, nice. Well, let me know if you want some help with that later, Dango. Let's do uh, Massive Attack E. Let's just do the boss quest. Oh, I was being dumb. I should have been using the Talesius earlier. Oh, well. I was like, wait a minute. I could have been doing arguably one more damage every shot. Oh well, the pew pew has arrived. I was gonna say, I'm ready to not try very hard. Okay, we're slowly getting this character in range to deal with tower. Right now she's pretty much peak boss fight, I guess, because she should just auto-trigger her Resta constantly. Which is not bad in multiplayer. Because that means one Resta from her, one Resta from Mag, full heals everybody near you. It's just not as OP as just having straight-up invincibility. Character. Goodbye, Trump. <laughs> I was gonna say the plus side. If I ever see a trap in my general vicinity between me and a target, I'm probably gonna detonate it automatically. <laughs> Downside, I can't help but do that every time. My HP material, I don't feel like walking to you. This quest XP is very silly. So we're Although right now it's still only barely competing with Forest, which to me is mind boggling. It shows how unfair that anniversary quest is. The fact that it's keeping up with like one of the better quests of episode four is just very silly. Only really beaten by nonsense like massive attack B resets. 
be on the horizon. Lucky quests. <laughs> Off by four damage. Damn, I need more MST. That's an actual heartbreaker. That's how you know you don't have enough. So sad. Would have killed. I was gonna say, you know what we still have not seen this entire event? Where are the Dwarf on Eclairs? We're playing the right IDs to get something from them. Like, even when we switch to yellow, it's still Cannon Rouge. That's like, I, I wouldn't mind seeing a Cannon Rouge in our green ID surface run. Myth? It feels like a myth. Anyway. We've seen like three Pazuzus, like three Del Rappies, literally zero Dorf on Eclairs. Brutal. The bird dropping his silver badge is disrespectful. Where's our V101 chat? I would say in theory I need it, but I actually really don't, unless I need another ranger or hunter. Even my Humar has a V101, that's how many I have. Chat knows I neglect that character all day long. Ouch. Heard bird dropping and laugh. Nice, Tiki. It's true, Zoo was pooping out some bad rares. There's the V101. And let me know, Tiki, if later in the day you want to do some runs. So I know me playing in kind of like an earlier time slot helps get the people that are in more like the European time zones. I thought it'd be fair. Set up a little. I forgot to go foe. That was my fault. We'll continue to do pew pew for a little bit, but after that, I'm not sure what we'll do. I figure at least three end to end boss runs would be good. Three badges from Zoo today. Oof. But so far, we've only seen one of the power six. We got a, what was it, Lame to Arjun, I think, on Skyly earlier. Oh, they're getting bullied so hard we don't even have to freeze trap them. It's monstrous. I'm gonna kill the zoo, because that thing is just gonna annoy the players if I leave it alone. Single target damage is okay. Okay, we're so cool, we don't even need to look at the enemy we're fighting. Right, chat. Just uh, a character on the mini maps looking close enough. Yeah, a lot of PDs all of a sudden. Could be good. I might have to buy a smart link later for the Humar. I 
I guess in theory if I play Pink ID Desert, I might get a couple, but... I think those can drop from zoos. Like Smart Link V801 I think they have. Let's uh, group up a little more. Two, three, fireball. I think that's a good timing. You definitely have to wait as the Realm Moral. You, you definitely don't want max distance fireball. But if you do it like slightly too early, it doesn't matter. But it's always important you try to put a pause in. By the way, this is so many materials. <laughs> Holy. I think I legitimately have received almost uh, 50 HP materials at this point. Just this week is clarity, let alone the whole event. What is my favorite class? Um, it's a tough call. I usually enjoy Phonumen. Raw Moral is usually my pick for solo play. I've been enjoying Hughcast in multiplayer. I want to see where his, uh, what did you borrow? <laughs> That's funny. Chat had a tee -hee funny there. Hugh Morrow is, uh, <laughs> the Hugh Neural is very disappointing. I still don't feel satisfied with that character with Red Ring. Like, Fomar was, like, the struggle character, right? Like, I felt like he just did everything that Foman did, Fo Newman did, but worse. And because he was so stat-oriented to be good... It just took, like, a really long time in playing him before I felt like he started to have his own niche. Because his accuracy was usually just too trash to actually use him for ATP in a serious capacity. So, like, he, he was he's one of those characters where, like, red ring is required, 40 plus hit is required, and then, like, oh, now you can start to enjoy this character. So, I think he's probably one of my better forces, but it's just the exhaustion of getting him there. Do you like the girl versions of the humans are better? Uh, I don't think I agree. I like Raw Marl for solo play. I definitely think the Raw Mar is really good. It's just that he also has leveling pains. Where I feel like he and and most of the male characters in general have like this awkward leveling period from like 120 to 160 where it's like man i just need raw stats to actually be like different than the female characters but they definitely have a longer grace period where they feel a lot weaker and i don't like the phone neural more than the phone newman at all phone newman like actually busted If Phone Neural could fast cast, maybe. Lavrahas. Uh, as a beginner player who chose Romaro, would you say you could solo anything in the game fairly reasonably? Absolutely. I'm going to let you know, if you don't know, I originally made a Romar as my first character, right? Because I'm like, okay, long distance, self buffing, high accuracy, don't really need to worry about good rolls on items. Let's see how far I get. And I'm going to let you know, as a fresh character, I really struggle to get out of ultimate, like, forest. Where I'm just like, he just doesn't do enough damage. You know, this is like pre-getting a frozen shooter. It's just like, man, the struggle is there. But then, like, I did it as Raw Marl with, like, arguably worse gear. And then I just gel in them. And I'm like, oh, now I'm not getting, like, hard bullied by them anymore. And then since then, she's able to do, like, solo tower. Like, I got my first V502 that way with solo stuff. So she could go basically everywhere. It's just that if you can get through that really awkward period with Ramar, he just ends up being, like, the superior multi multiplayer character in most scenarios. I do think Ramar is still useful. I'm out of free vibes. Ooh. I do think Ramar is still useful if your team has, like, literally no other people that buff. Then I think I actually do prefer her in those scenarios over Ramar. But if we're talking about, like, who is going to consistently land, like, freeze on annoying enemies in Seabed, I'm not really going to choose Raw Marl for that. Chat saying Photo World is cute. 
I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> like when I play the game, I play. I I I care about stats. The only thing I don't like look wise is I wish I had other options than clown shoes with the Phonuman. I would have preferred a slightly different attire. Yeah, so like Ramar is like really good if you could get through that awkward leveling period. As I said before, it's just like I felt like he just really struggled to get momentum even with like a max mag. So he's like a great character to like feed endgame items to. And I think he's really fast at climbing to ultimate. I just don't think he could get through ultimate right away. Although I suppose if he managed to pick up some support items through trades, like he will very consistently be able to be a support character over the raw moral. Like he's gonna be landing those important demon shots more often. Obviously, once you get a frozen shooter, it's kinda nice. And even a V501, which is not like the most horrible pickup to get early on. Uh, he kind of excels at. So he, once he gets, like, the core ranger items, is pretty fine. But, like, a completely self-found character? Kind of painful, not gonna lie. Kind of painful. Because he just, it, like, his strength is that at high levels, he is just better than most characters. But, like, you can't level because you can't get the items. And you can't get the items because you can't level. So there's just kind of this awkwardness that happens with him. But he's, like, a super great character to get carried with. Or, like, you could go into tower and be useful in runs at, like, level 80. Where other characters wouldn't even dream of being remotely useful unless they're a cast. Just because he's able to land that required demons versus Epsilon. He's able to get the frozen shooter on Ilgil. He's able to shut down a Del Beater. He has a Gafoe to potentially stop charges. But like, he has what is usually needed in a party comp that has, like, a lot of casts. Is there anything that Ramar might struggle with solo? No. The fact that she is pew pew laser means that things that would normally be annoying to her in solo play, like fighting all these episode 4 enemies without swapping weapons, like, hilariously easy. She's, she could play any role. Boss fix damage? Kind of, but I mean, like, she's still tankier than Forces. I'd, I wouldn't even say Forces struggle with some of that outside of Phonu roll. Ouch. Move out of here. Leave me alone, Marissa A. I can't hit you. I'm gonna gel in, because they're kind of too close to me. Almost a maxed out striker plus. Interesting. Yeah, rangers, once they get spread needle, can stun lock most things. Even really quick heaven striker shots stop most enemies in a 1v1 from ever doing anything. And eventually farming up like a really good heaven striker means that the raw marl is going to start doing pretty insane damage. So, kind of like the benefit of playing Ramar and Ramarl is their accuracy is so high that having hit on a weapon isn't required initially. Whereas, like, other characters, it's just 10,000% mandatory. Like, you would just never play the character without having these. Like, the difference of playing just even, like, Q-Cast, but you have no, like, 50 hit Vulcan or something is, like, a night and day difference. Whereas, like, Rommar is like, oh, you you can't hit the Charge Vulcan at zero hit? I can. Get on my level. And then you look, and his base ATA is usually 40 to 50 higher than everybody. And you're like, oh, that makes sense now. It checks out. So it's, al so it's also a bit more lenient with those characters in terms of gear. Yeah. And that's why, like, certain things just really, really improve the run for the other characters. Like, your ranger walls are really easy to get, and that's, like, an endgame item. So, like, you're automatically having the red ring accuracy item at, like, what, level 30-something? Just hilarious. So, like, you, you don't even need hit weapons when you're going through the beginning of the game. You just care about percents. 
Oh, their Slicer Fanatic is so beautiful. I highly recommend that on all Rangers. In fact, I need to farm more of those later. Maybe for Promethean, we'll do uh, Pink Pink Desert so I can get some Slicer Fanatics again. Yeah, uh, especially since they can do the accuracy glitch. So they already have like some of the highest accuracy in the game, and then they can just guarantee that their special uses normal accuracy. It's hilarious. Like, they're, they're never missing at max ATA. I, I don't care what enemy it is, it's hitting. Like, is it a Del Def? Don't care. You're still hitting it. <laughs> it's just stupid. Another PD. Gotta join when you do Slicer Fanatic. Yeah, if you're gonna stick around for a little bit. We're gonna do some Pew Pew first. I don't mind doing some Pink ID Phony Men stuff. I don't remember how many cookie runs I've done with you specifically. But I'd be okay with using a couple, because I'd like to have new players that haven't played with us before enjoy some cookie runs, just so they understand the power of the cookie. So close to Mag Blast. Okay, I have enough roll HP that I shouldn't die to laser. Okay, will I get trolled? Will it be Conjure you? I don't want it to be Conjure you. Don't be Conjure you. Okay, good. <laughs> this is like the only run where I'm like, I don't want to see Rare Boss. Don't give me the 1 in 8. Don't give me the 1 in 8. I don't want it. <laughs> you can take it back. I don't want another Centurion ability on Green ID. Ouch. I just realized I am dead because I have no Tri-Fluids with me. The, or not try fluids, try mates, I mean. That's gonna be annoying for later. Anyway, back to Pew Pew. And speaking of able to do anything, this character hard bullies episode four boss. Just calling dibs whenever you do it. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't think we've done a lot of cookie runs with you. Like Murphy would have, like Tiggy's done some, Prometheans obviously done a lot, Help Leave have done a lot. But for like newer players, like Marco, we haven't done a lot of cookies with. We could do some cookie quests at some point. I'm just not in a rush to do them during anniversary. Even some for Kaiser would probably be fun. Too early on the rest of annoying. My star atomizers are kind of in the middle. Ooh, don't use shotgun on this, because that makes it uneven. No. Do you have cannon rouge? If not, we gotta get you a cannon rouge at some point. Spinners. I'm very tempted to mag blast this boss. I want to wound it a bit more first. Oh, you did dolphin. I was kind of guessing you panicked and did the star one. I didn't realize you did dolphin. That sucks. I would have done something different. Because usually I see the lasers in the sky when you get accidentally hit. Oh well. So close. I don't want to be too greedy here. I could probably kill it next time it goes back up. So it's within one shot of me. I'm just going to go for the kill here, I think. Got it. But yeah, Raw Moral is like one of the best characters. So we learned the other day that Cannon Rouge evenly damages the cores. Because not all weapons... If weapons can hit multiple targets, usually it changes the damage per target. The Cannon Rouge doesn't follow that rule. And I'm like, oh, I never really paid attention to that before because it's usually just a wall of white numbers. But it's actually relevant in that run. So Rangers also bully this boss pretty hard, even outside of Pew Pew Laser. Yeah, I got to get some Moon Atomizer, sadly. I didn't realize I walked in with just one. No big oops on that one. Sadly, no uh, Galatine. 
So we'll do two more, and then we might try to swap some people in. Get some slicers or something. Because I think I would like another one on this character. We gave away a lot of our spare ones. Which is fine. They were mostly zeroed. But I want some, like, decent attribute ones. Get rid of this. Don't need this. 14 silver badges, wow. <laughs> Restocking my healing items, because I don't want to spam Resta, because it's kind of slow. Put away the music discs, and I'll rejoin the party. Order inventory. Here we go. I could technically put away Talesius. It's fun. I was wondering if the music was going to pause. Oh, music. You're so trolly. Figure I'd get some experience this way, level up the Pew Pew Ranger. Her ATP is good enough that I think I might start combo killing with her in Forest. And 80 is a pretty high amount. Ideally, I want to be at 1100. It's not that many level ups from now. As I mentioned earlier, I think I'm getting into the I Can Survive Tower range with an out of the one heavenly HP while still having the option of being uh, rested by my mag or made invincible in episode 4. Yeah, see how I'm doing, like, they're living by 4? If I just got, like, two more levels, I think that would mean that they would... Oops. I think that would mean that that would kill them in one less shot, which is an important breakdown. So potentially if I want to pump my MST, I could bring a Heavenly Mine for the last run, for example. Since my cap is like a thousand something and I'm not even at 900. <laughs> <It's t> <laughs> I would say it's a challenge thing. I the word fun there is a... Uh... It's a very loose definition. Some people find it fun. <laughs> I will answer the question that way. Uh, but it, it mostly just has endgame units. Yeah, there, there are tower enjoyers. We, we've had them on stream before. I think it is a disgusting thing, and I think that for the most part it deserves to be taken down and redone completely. You know, that's just my opinion. I I definitely don't hate the uh, cross flower formations that exist in tower that make soloing impossible. Yeah, some people like enjoy using like the endgame weapons there. And, like, to some extent, I understand, but at the same time, I'm like... The way Tower is difficult is not a game methodology I agree with or enjoy. And I'm glad, for the most part, modern games don't do that. Like, Sega realized, oh no, 
player had big number, how kill big player, and they're like, you know what, why don't we just give everything insta-kill? It just gets kind of tedious. So it's like, your stats just don't matter for the most part. Yeah. So like, we'll do some towers for like a V502 in blue burst. I, I don't know why you would ever play tower on uh, like GameCube or something. Because there's not even a hunt you would ever go for. It's just there to do. And it's not fun. And you have worse weapons. <laughs> so, like, no thank you. I don't even enjoy it with broken episode 4 stuff. It's like the closest I've come to it is like tolerating it. I tolerate some of the quests. Like, even when I talk about tower, go rewatch how I talk about it. I'm like, oh, it doesn't have the terrible cross formation. Like, that that's the closest it comes to compliments most of the time. And I'll say I'll have fun in episode two, but notice I don't say that when I'm in tower. I say that when I'm in, like, CCA. Which I'm mostly okay with CCA now. I'm gonna say, check the tapes. I think I called Sweep Up Operation 9 something like, quote-unquote, not bad. Uh, that was about as positive as it got. Is the big problem with Tower is that it's just a lot of mini bosses. A lot of mini bosses ignore weapon attributes. So it just it just feels bad overall. It's like some of your weapons don't matter, and then your gear, your, none of your defenses matter, pretty much, unless you plan on getting hit by Del Lily. <laughs> Just like the only enemy that's somewhat easy to counter. But like the problem enemies are the miracles, the miracuses, and the ill gills are like, oh, do you not have enough raw stats? GG. Do you have high hit points? Doesn't matter. Gonna kill you anyway. GG. Are you not a really balanced party? Uh, good luck clearing anything like Epsilon. GG. So. It just feels more fun to me when we could play like episode 4 and we could do like... It, it's like you can have just as much fun in a 4 force comp in episode 4 as you could with like a raw marl in 3 casts, right? Like I just feel like there's differently designed enemies that force players to have different options but at the same time it doesn't feel like impossible to play certain character identities. For tower I'm like why the hell would I play this as most characters? Like, why would I ever solo force in tower? I'm like, ill, gross. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready for my text to do a hundred of their 3,000 health. Yeah. And definitely is like a primary force enjoyer. I'm like, man, do I have to play Romarl again into this? Because I don't want to have like ultra sphered gear to play Hugh Cast in it or something. Just, I don't know. So if you want to show off, I guess, at high levels, when you have completely sphered items, I guess tower becomes more fun. Air quotes. I don't think I'll enjoy it even if you gave me a hundred dark, hundred hit anything. <laughs> just, I don't think I would have a good time. Because I just don't like it mechanically. Yeah, Delilies are, like, the only thing I don't... Like, if those had insta-kill... If those had the ones with the unresistible insta-kill, I don't think I would be mad. I don't like that they made the Miracles, Miracles, and Miracles have unresistible death element, when I think they should have just left them with the elemental attacks that they did already. So that way you could still have, like, Epsilon-esque damage being flinged at you, which I think is totally fine. But then, like, you could potentially still play around it to an extent and would reward you for having items in the game. There's just, like, so many little things you could do where you wouldn't even necessarily change spawns, but you just remove the BS. I think it would be a lot better. But again, personal opinion. I think that gold badge, though. Yeah, you will generally not see me play a lot of tower, unless I'm hunting for something, or it's a special event.
Because even if you look at it from like a trading perspective, you still would never play tower for value. It just takes too long. And it's inconsistent at best. Compare that to like the nonsense reset to episode 4, episode 1. Or even episode 2 CCC, honestly. And it's weird, because in like normal to very hard, the other flowers just do elemental damage. And I thought they were fine. Oops, I was a little too far away. There we go. Lord of Mac in with my face. Good cleanup. Look at these materials. Wish I could carry that other material. Maybe I'll get rid of my dye fluids. Yeah, I've just never been a fan of insta-kill in any game, any genre, any time. And then I think what makes episode too bad is that it's just like... If you don't have those things, it feels like a chore to clear. It's definitely like night and day for like if your party has like Hell Needle or like a V502 handgun with Hell. So like in some ways it's nice to say like, oh, I have a character with no stats that can play episode two. But man, oh man, if you don't have the stats, does episode two feel miserable? Get rid of these enemies. Oh no, they teleported on me. That's exactly what I don't want to have happen. <laughs> I need a big distance between me and them. We'll do one more of these, and I think we'll mix it up. Yeah, like, again, if they had just done EDK, I would have been totally fine with it. Like, it's it's like they could have even still left them with insta-kill. Or if it required, like... Let's say they did, like, 120 EDK, so you could never be completely immune. I still probably would have been okay with it. I would have been, like, a little annoyed, but I'd be like, okay, it's just so that, that things are always a little bit of a threat. But, man... Other things, I don't know. Thank you, Pew Pew Laser. I think after this, if anybody would like to hop in for the pink ID ones that hasn't joined in yet, give a little brief rotation break. Nobody's being able to outgear stuff. Yeah, it just feels kind of weird, because it's like, the only way to really quote-unquote deal with episode 2 is to have spirit items or challenge mode weapons, which, you know, to some extent I understand, but at the same time I'm like... That's where I would have liked the old Anguish system when it had 10 levels versus the 3 that it is now. I basically haven't touched Anguish since they nerfed it to be, like, unplayable. I think they got mad at the fact that people were playing, like, Anguish 1 as, like, a meta run. Which, to me, honestly, I don't even get why people cared that much on, like, low levels of Anguish. 
It's like, oh no, the character that I've been sitting at at level 200 for like literally years, with all sphered gears, still combo kills. I think people were kind of babies. I'm calling them out, chat. Big babies over low level anguish. Uh, I would say there is no point to anguish currently, <laughs> to answer your question. It just makes them tankier. It originally scaled a little better with box drops, so it made certain areas more viable than others. So for example, if you did like Lost Soul Blade, you could treat it as though it had like Ruins level drops instead of Mines level drops. Kind of thing. And they've been progressively nerfing it so that it barely touches box drops at all. Yeah, it would give you like a very small boost to rare chances and also just like common leave health things. So like if you're a Sky ID, you were going to be more likely to find calibers while playing Anguish, but like by like barely, like we're talking like a percent. Like it's not big, they were, they're not definitely not big numbers now, and they weren't like crazy numbers after the prior nerfs either. So it's just kind of a way of saying, hey, I like a character to do like forest or like mines, but it's like way too easy for my character. So I'd like to actually take advantage of the fact that I'm like a, a 1300 ranger with like Baran's launcher. And that's what it used to be for a while. Then people didn't like that because they felt they were forced to do it. Yeah, like exactly. It did, it scaled pretty poorly in general. Like I understand them getting rid of like Anguish 10. That I like understand. But I think people were kind of big babies over Anguish 1. Because it, it turns all these, like, really mediocre runs into, like, something more interesting. So if you wanted to just do, like, easy forest or, like, easy temple clear, but, like, actual ATP versus hell, then it would actually make it more viable. Or it would turn runs that are, like, almost good. Like, you just want to be able to get, like, a 90% hit item, but you just don't normally. To make it more consistent was also kind of nice, originally. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody will play it. Yeah, like, again, like, if your character is really good at early areas, and you like the early areas, it was nice to have an option to make it, like, scale with you. So, like, if you're playing solo and you're like, I combo kill everything by, like, an excessive amount, why don't I just turn it up a notch? Because my gear can handle it. So therefore, I can get basically the same clear speed, but I can get more Meseta and or items and or rares. I don't know. Now I feel like the minimum level is just way too high, and I just don't see a point in using it. Which again, I think is the cater to the very, very, very vocal group on uh, Discord. So I I think it I think it is very much strayed from its original implementation. I don't know if that was their original intent, but it is strayed very far from what it was. It's unfortunate. Which personally I'm a little confused whenever I see things where they say like, oh, the intent isn't to do, you know, easier runs on like higher difficulty. And I'm like, that's that's literally what Diablo does. That's what the system is for from. So, I don't know if that was just a misunderstanding of how that worked in Diablo. I, I don't know. It's gonna put big question marks there. Yeah. Got a trap, it's okay. Let's get some... Getting knocked down. Ooh, no freeze trap on the Gorons. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's an Affinia thing, and it, it copied Diablo 3. Which is why I'm confused. Like, again, like, if that was their intent is to make it harder but not be rewarding, but then I'm like, but then you scaled it off of Diablo, which is the whole point? 
is that if you had high gear rating, you would do the same things but get better rewards? Like, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like... I, I don't feel like that was examined properly. Like, it just... I don't know. <laughs> just shrug. So, right now, it's just kind of pointless. I don't know anybody that... I don't know anybody here that runs it. I've seen people do some games. I don't know what they're hunting in it anymore. Oh, I tried to save it. Oh, that Oh no, that time it was twins. I got baited. Chat actually trolling. Damn, could have had super buffs. I reacted but got punished yet again. I didn't guess correctly. I need to debuff, I'm getting bullied. There we go, now I can do things. I did get super baited. I tried to save it. Normally when people fat finger something, it's never the twins button. It's always like snake or it's always like the angel. It is so rarely the twins. I was really unlucky. So I had a two and three chance that the button pressed was very likely to not be twins. Get wrecked apparently. Oh well, back to the pew pew. So anyway, you can see this quest is giving so much experience that I'm straight up going to level on this boss. This boss I think gives 105,000 right now with the XP buffs, which is completely ludicrous. So if you were wondering how we were leveling so quickly, you can see that most of our characters are now 140 plus. How important are photon bursts? Not super important. There's only a couple quests where they matter. Like, this one, it matters. Uh, most quests don't last long enough for it to be relevant, is the best answer to that. It's okay in solo play, since, like, casts can't buff themselves, and the best way to do insane damage is to just buff your hue casts with twins. So sometimes people, for runs like this, that are going in, like, the 15-plus minutes to clear, which is not many quests at high level, uh, these are the quests where Photon Blasts are actually somewhat relevant. So, like, this boss, for example, takes a lot of damage from Dolphin, but even if that got messed up, having an Enhanced Twins with Cannon Rouge does a lot of damage. There's, like, backups in case we don't land the Dolphin, so I'm out of Dolphin, sadly. Because I was thinking it would potentially give us super buffs for the people that might have had Cannon Rouge. Oh well. I uh, should be able to Dimate through most of my issues. These enemies are too strong, let's avoid them. Nothing like that. Leave me alone, missile. Careful, you're too far to the side. As I said before, make sure you're centered with it. You want to make sure you are never shooting at an angle, because it will not hit the boss. Also, I think the boss... Laser got cancelled? That was interesting. Alright, so it should... I'm not gonna go for a kill here. I'm gonna let it do its laser once. So I'm gonna heal, and then I'm gonna kill this boss, I think. There we go. Teamwork. You little cheater. Don't do this attack. We killed you cleanly. Little cheater. Not allowed to do the transition attack if we've already beat you. Wave your finger, chat. What a, what a filthy cheater. Bad boss. So anyway, prepare for that level up. I know. The fact that he did that and we didn't even like mag blast him, he just did that it was kind of obnoxious. What a cheater. 
He normally does that if you do it to him when he's in the middle room and he's transitioning out. Yeah, I just leveled up. So we got 428,000. So you can see from level 145, this quest is almost a guaranteed level again. To give you an idea how crazy the XP right now is, chat. Yeah, exactly, bad boss. And then we get tickets when we beat the quest as well. So unfair. Just value after value on this character. We'll wait for another game to get hosted. So again, we're raising our damage because our damage is MST based. Our solo ATP damage is good enough now. I think I can combo kill in Forest. On up like five or six levels. And I think with this raw HP, I can survive tower now. I think. If anyone wants to hop in, you can take my spot, says Marco. Would anybody like to do one run before we switch over to some very brief hooky runs for Tycoon? Also, I, for I think I forgot to give a shout out at the beginning. Let me give a shout out now. Mm, thank you, Stuntman Mike 30 for the follow. Open! If they followed literally right before the stream, I didn't see it right away. Yeah, Murphy's character is actually getting just strong enough to hard carry everything. <laughs> just like, we're good. We're getting him through the awkward rock cast levels. Now he just has like a bazillion freeze traps and has the ATP to combo kill. Yeah, that'll be for the Slicer. Gonna be great when I can swap off the Heavenly Arms, exactly. Looks like Remote is here. Welcome, Remote. So we'll complete the uh, the run here real quick with a few few lasers. I apply buffs because I can. Death from above. Oops, did not mean to shoot them from that distance. I blame the auto aim. The auto aim turns so hard to hit them. Holy. It's like an 80 degree turn. Double pew pew lasers. I'm so sorry, episode four. I'm so sorry. So, so far, still no Heaven Strikers, no Galatine. We're still going for the Power Six. So much pew pew laser damage. Random bazooka found, nice. Sorry, not sorry. I was gonna say, you have one last chance for uh, rare dwarf on before we switch the run. Otherwise, it's yet another no show today. Stark. They are just melting under the lasers. The sun rays are just beaming down and destroying them.
This time I'm gonna come over here a bit more. I didn't like where I was positioned earlier. They want to charge me, they can. I got my good foe out. Just shoot a laser at me. That's so rude. Oh, I don't have room for mono grinders. That's unfortunate. Honestly, I might as well just throw away my like my defense and evade materials for grinders. Grinders are worth more anyway. I have a more pressing need for them for later anyway. Eighteen silver badges on this character chat, wow. everybody. Yeah, and PP laser is so good, chat. Mm. This alone is the reason to play the raw moral, I'll be real with you. Who else could just shut down an entire run with one gun? Is it the most optimal thing? No. Is it funny? Yes. Is it very easy to do? Yes. Like, technically, you still play all casts because it's faster. Technically. But whatever. On the plus side, I am getting a decent amount of money back for when I'm spamming charge. If I go pew pew laser and then a charge run, I can kind of make my money back in between. Nice level up for Murphy there. We're technically powering up his fire traps. Oh, it's easy. It even auto-aims. Like, let me see if I can get it to auto-aim. I just have to look vaguely in the direction, like this. Like, I was looking over here. I was facing the camera briefly, and it aimed towards. I could face, like, over here, and then I turned that much. So that's what I was saying before when I got auto-aim to the other side. Trust me, the auto-aim is really strong. You will shoot at it, regardless if you want to or not. Oh, yeah. I could just do this and just know it's gonna hit. Doesn't really matter. Pew, pew, pew. See that? We don't need to look at what we're fighting. Might need to move forward every now and again, but that's about it. Like, how many character classes can you say you could just beat them without ever looking at them? And you're like, force? <laughs> that's usually the whole list. Yeah, I definitely think they made uh, tech resistance way too high in Episode 2. I would have loved to have seen Blue Burst rebalance Episode 2, instead of leaving it pretty much like the Dreamcast, or not Dreamcast, like the GameCube version. Just disappointing. Yeah, I'll move over earlier this time. Pew, pew, pew. I was gonna say, I'm gonna show you even easier gameplay in a moment when we go to play <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, cookie quest for Tycoon. 
That's that's almost brain off gameplay. Although it is ultimate mode, so I have to care slightly, I guess. Question mark. Maybe. I should probably debuff an ultimate. These. Please. Let the auto aim take the wheel. Hmm. Probably aim from over here might be ideal so I can see the pyros. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you why people play Faux Newman. <laughs> Just going to be like. I'll, I'll give you a hint. I'm not going to try very hard. But I'll still be like 40% of the damage of the run. For no reason. Thank you, episode four. You're a beautiful thing. Oh, I got body slammed. I have to care slightly. Whatever. Bye. Kind of running wild. I think I killed most of them. I'm gonna shoot this guy. There we go. I tried briefly. I even swap weapons. Anyway, back to Pew Pew. Uh, I could probably do that with Force. If we're playing very hard mode, absolutely. I could legit just never look at the screen and probably win. I really need to target something. I just have grants to auto target and face me towards an enemy. I'll figure it out eventually. I like that Pew Pew laser even destroys Gurdabulu. Hmm. Yeah, Forces Grants is so bad. I, I hope that they one day improve it in like a PSOS game. That is not PSO2. Nice and steady presses. There we go. I'm gonna do normal attacks here to stun lock them. GG. I thought I was behind the Goron, so I still basically stun lock them. So unfair. They almost have a they almost had a chance to hit me. They could have gotten a wonky teleport and ended up behind me. They got unlucky. Oh, only off by two damage. That's how you know, chat. I just need to keep leveling. And I kill with one less laser, and that saves like literally a second out of the run. Uh oh, I actually had to move? How dare you, Gurdabulu. I'm personally offended by that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm just kind of like pew pew pew, I'm in the sniper hole, I'm in the foxhole or whatever it's called. Listen, I'm in the supreme sniping position. I prefer not to move. Right, so I know it's going to be triple Goron detonator at the other end of the room. If I'm like a little further in the room, I might be able to hit all three, maybe. Yes. Worth it. Oh, look, I'm doing 400 damage to them now. Thank you, level ups. I was doing 396 earlier, I think. We're gradually going up in damage. Unlike the zoo, it's, go it's just going down in general. Look at that massacre. What can they do about that? Get frozen, die instantly. 
can't even hit the zoo with this. So disgusting. Fine. Rare Marissa for some reason. Cool. The most annoying rare enemy because they're already annoyingly hard to kill with a uh, pew pew laser. Alright, that's it. I'm just breaking out the frozen shooter. I've had enough of this. Oh, look, another heavenly power. Here, um... Sometimes it's good to bring a little bit of crowd control into it. Just use a mystic disc at random. We'll restart our music in a second. I just want to make sure I'm in a good spot, because it's going to be Gurdabulu, which is kind of annoying. It's like the worst wave for it to happen on. Right, I'm going to walk slightly. I should be fine if I move to here and then check it. There we go. Perfect. Goodbye, Gurdabulu. So much pew pew laser. So I'm stun locking all of them from here. That's kind of funny. Oh, pew pew laser. Yeah, I'm happy. This character got a lot tankier. She was at like 800 health, or 830 health or so. At the start of the event. we are playing her a little bit off stream. But on stream, she's gained like a million levels at this point. I think she's like somewhat viable for tower now. Just needed a few more levels. So sadly, it seems like no Heaven Striker so far yet again. So I feel like at the rate we're going, we're going to get Conjured on the last run. Rip Murphy. I'm going in. I'm running into buff. There we go. Oh, I'm about to get bullied, I think. Oh no! If I know another set of lasers, that helps. <laughs> Just getting actually melted. Poor enemies. It only gets worse for episode 4 boss when, like, just all of us can bully the boss. Poor boss. Your gimmick is that you're supposed to be defeated evenly, so it's more difficult. But alas, we have your counter. Hey, gold badge. Congratulations. <sighs> Moment of truth. We're about to get conjured. Survey says... No! Okay! I didn't get conjured. You sinners, is there any like quality of life or just fun little flavor additions? Um, I don't think my recommendations would be small at this point. <laughs> it would be like redo episode two. I think most of the quests are fine. I ca I kind of think most of the official quests are kind of bad. I don't know if I really want more custom quests, though, to resolve them. I think for the most part, the quality of life is here. can't think of anything offhand. I can already change the colors on the minimap. And I can add items if I need to. time. So close.
There we go. This should be a kill. I donated this time, so this should be a lot of damage. Assuming the team doesn't just have like 700 evasion. Be GG here. Wait, what? It missed one of the cores. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, we could punish that. So that's fine. By St. Million. Here, um. Pew, pew, pew. Ah, oh, I defeated it with pew, pew laser. <laughs> but this time, the Heaven Striker portion of it. Aw, oh, I didn't get the glitch. So sad. If you get knocked down right as the boss dies, you can move to her in the cutscene and make your hair wiggle. When you're doing your victory pose, but alas, no wiggle. Damn, no Galatine either. The worst of both worlds. Did you just drop me a defense material? Oof, that's a terrible drop from the boss. Especially with how high money is. <laughs> Quality of life. Can the boss stop dropping crap items and just give only uh, <laughs> weapons or uh, EDs? Like nothing else. Like there, there's the quality of life change. <laughs> can it? Can we remove antidote, uh, telepipe, any paralysis from the boss pool? There's, there's my dream scenario. <laughs> just have the own separate table just for bosses. Eight photon drops. Wow, that was a lot. I mean, I don't think anybody really wants to get telepiped during the boss. I think it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna switch characters. We'll figure out who should go in. So I want Tycoon at least for a couple of runs, and then we'll go back to the normal one. Yeah, their Mesetta drop should be like... Like, how the Mesetta drop is now is how it should have been by default, to be honest with you. I think PSO really lowballed the Mesetta from bosses. Like, kill a boss and get 3k? It's like, what? The armor sells for 3k. It should be way better than an armor drop if it's gonna drop something like that. Yeah, so it should drop PDs, armor, weapon... Well, I prefer not armor, but I'd rather it be armor, weapons, money, etc. I'm gonna bring in BS. Let's bring in BS. Oh, Kaiser has to step out anyway. Good to know. Thank you, Kaiser. I'm gonna go ahead and get the game started with Pink ID. Give Murphy a moment or so. Yeah. <laughs> For those that haven't seen it before. Do you like my 1 hour 44 minute level 82 character? <laughs> uh, that's fair, right? <laughs> this is this is totally normal. I like that I have three characters in ultimate and their collective playtime is uh just it just it's very low. There's 16 hours between them. There we go. How does it happen? Well, you see, I get to play a force, right? And then it's over. <laughs> Phonuman broken, that's how. <laughs> so for those that miss the uh, many, we have a few power leveling videos, but the way we do it now is Cookie Quest, Phonuman hosts, give him Mind Mag, all the mind materials he needs to get started, teach him Gafoe, the buffs and debuffs, healing. That's all you really need. You you can win with just that. You don't even need to learn basic texts. Skip those. You don't need Megid. You can skip that. So you can take grants if nobody has demons, I guess. But anyway, let's go ahead and make the game with this character. So we're going to add some playtime to this character. This character has basically only done cookie quests because I'm like, this is his purpose in life. Listen. He's really good at his job. Oh, I need more limiters. 
So sad. Anyway, time to uh, make an episode 4 game. So we'll do, let's say, three cookies, and then we'll go back to anniversary stuff. Uh, should probably equip them with some items. We're just gonna quickly gear him. He's on level 30. Uh, Heavenly HP at a should have his own V801. Yeah, that's good. Then I can take a Gafoe move. Yeah, this seems fair. Um, actually, I want to take one more item. My bad. Uh, do I have a magical? If it says no. Damn, it's on a different character. I'll have to get that later. Yeah, we'll run a few. Also. Airhead moment. I forgot to check for cookies. The whole point of the run. Oops. Music's appropriate. Whatever. I took four. We'll use four. So anyway, prepare to be power leveled, by the way. So even with me messing around, this quest XP is going to be disgustingly broken. So you're probably going to level at least once. I don't care what your XP is. Here it comes. But how for now, thanks for the tips, no worries. Here we go. Cookie delivered. Our, go our job is to keep the cast alive, and then when you're not doing that, you're debuffing, and when you're not doing that, you're spamming Gafoe. So I'm not- I wouldn't even bother with anything other than Gafoe and debuffs as a force. Just legit stack that Gafoe. Pretend it's your only button. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, debuff time into Grants. We gotta care a little bit here. I don't think anybody is deep. Oh, no, we have a demon user. Disregard. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> There's only one thing that makes health totals jump like that. So if you want to handle some debuffs, I'm gonna handle spamming the Bowie. But as long as you gel in the enemies so we don't get, like, murdered, and then you get Zalore, then we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Even 29 gel is fine. First cast demons. Better than nothing. Sadly, I gotta do something other than Gafoe there briefly. Anyway, back to Gafoe. Oh, I got hit. Leave me alone. Back to Gafoe stacking. The reason we Gafoe stack is most waves are weak to fire. So, more often than not, they will just take massive damage on incoming. Like, once this guy dies, if it's Satellite Lizards or Marissa's or anything, they take a million damage. Speaking of which, this wave is already dead. Goodbye. Once they get unfrozen, they die. GG. And then I stack again, and if it's Lizards, they die nearly instantly. Welcome to the power of the Gafoe staff. It's so strong. We'll take a look at our XP per second in a moment. Oh, hey, look, it's more Lizards. How unfortunate. I've never stopped Gafoe stacking. The reason I do it in this menu is because I don't want a menu as hard on the other menus, and this allows me to do frame one perfect Gafoe. I'll care slightly here, I'll debuff, and I'll go back to Gafoe. Alright, I'll care like a little bit, like... Oh well, hey Marissa's? Oh, sure would suck if we were stacking Gafoe, GG. Oh, ran out of uh, fluid, how sad. We're getting nearly 700 experience a second right now. So we've eclipsed everything in the game. There's pretty much nothing that even is remotely competitive with this experience. We're already at 110,000 experience. It's hilariously high. I'm gonna go back to Gafoe stacking, because I'll recognize if the enemy is gonna die that I should not last hit it, and it would be more fruitful to Gafoe stack. That's just how I view the character. I'm like, yeah, if it's within like a hundred or, or a thousand health on Gerdabulu, they got it. They're good. 
I'm getting bullied a little bit, but it's okay. They can handle this, I hope. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Chat got me killed. <laughs> why, why weren't they handling it? What happened? Why were all three of them fighting me? So sad. I got trolled. Anyway, back to stacking. This wave, we're gonna spend some time helping for sure. We can't just get Bowie stack. It's a stun lock with Brazon. We got a nice rhythm going, so that one guy just can't do anything on our screen. He's just always getting stunned. The moment he. Yeah, now that there's only one, I'm going back to get Bowie stacking. You always think one wave ahead. Where's this have to see into the future? Or memorize spawns, one of the above. So I recognize my fireball is more useful than doing 200 res uh, resan damage on the Gerdabulu or equivalent enemies. Okay, I'm gonna use Gifoe to kill the satellite lizards. Hopefully, they'll kill the zoos between two ATPs. So I'm not gonna bother killing the zoos. I'll stun them with Gifoe, knowing that if this is Marissa or Lizard, I get rewarded. Oh look, I got rewarded. You see what I mean? Yeah, I, I would not Rafoe. I would legit only Gafoe, because you if there's any wave that takes fire damage, they just take fire damage again. Yeah, so that's just another wave that took like a million Gafoe due to that. There we go. There we go. Nice and simple. Easy cleanups. Forgot to take note of what people's levels are, but they're currently 145, 142, 145. Okay. I know after this is gonna be a Marissa, so I'm probably still gonna go Bowie stack, knowing that they have demons. I'd rather be in position for the uh, Marissa double Rappy wave. So I'm gonna say, let them hop to me, see what happens. I know Rampies are gonna descend here, so I'm just gonna keep Gafoeing. Yes, this might kill them instantly with Stack of here. So close. See, so yeah, I think if I could get a magical piece on this character, that would have killed. So sad. Maybe I'll take out a Fire Staff for now. Just to buff his damage a little more for Fireball. He's not missing by much with the Gafoe stacks. And again, if Gafoe even stunlocks the zoo for the team, so that way if it's another wave where they take fire damage, they just die again. It's so brutal. This is why episode 4 is so fun for Force. That's like, you just need one button, it'll be fine. Just believe in the one button. Nope, Power Goron living quite a while. And then when you see... When you see Goron, Goron detonators in the middle where I'm standing, that's when you know it's time to no longer Gafoe. You, you can put the Gafoe away and play for real. I forget if this is the wave it does it or not. I could speed this up a little, though assistance there. Now it's still more waves. I gotta deep up on this one though. Like actually insane. So we're still getting around 660 experience a second. We're like not remotely near max level. We're not like remotely near max stat on anything. So silly. This character I don't even think it's max MST either. So he's not even efficient. What silliness. Oh, I gotta leave. Okay, so don't be in the middle of the force here. And then just prepare to fight Gerdabulus. I guess I'll Razan or Gazan, but I guess it doesn't really matter which, as long as you do it quickly. Pew pew pew. Yeah, that seems fair. Keep up time. Stunlock central. Oh, is he stunned while using an element? Oh, I could just use lightning on him then. Oh, that sucks for him. Damn, him getting stunned with the right element out is brutal. Goodbye. So anyway, we ended at 308,000, getting about 641 XP a second, which is normally three to four times more than any other quest. You got three to four quests worth of experience in one shot. 
sadly, I didn't see any slicers drop. I believe the satellite lizards can drop it for clarity. I will gladly take that trifluid. I will gladly take that other trifluid. And thanks to the drop rate being so high, you're probably going to pick up a million materials, too. I have to kind of, like, dive deep into the things here. There we go. Talk to the guy. I'm gonna check to see if I have a fire staff for him. The way I could do just a teeny bit more. And obviously, if you have things like ignition cloak, I would definitely wear them in this quest since like 80% of the fight is fire weak. Oh, I have a fire scepter. Nice. I have an unidentified slicer fanatic for him. Also nice. I should probably take it out and give it to another character. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and equip the Fire Scepter to buff not only our base damage, but, uh, make our fireballs more meaty. Mass casting, I think, matters for debuffs, but for just general spam, rather have the bonus damage. So we'll do three more of these. So they're not very long quests. They're also very silly amounts of experience. Which will only help Murphy and company power level and carry if I play a weaker character. Yeah, this character is pretty solid. So there we go. My damage should be up like another 100 per fireball. So it's possible with four fireballs out, I'm doing 400 more to the next wave. That's somewhat significant. No worries, Tycoon. Let's uh, do a few more. I have the next game up. I'm gonna sort my inventory. Escape dolls, double heavenlies, not bad. I think I'll leave the fire scepter equipped on him. That way you don't have to hunt for it later. Murphy needs to skip one. Anybody that wants to hop in and take Murphy's place for a run? Chat a moment or so. Prefer not to cookie quest with just three people, because that's kind of a waste of the cookie. I don't know if like remote battery or Tiggy just wants free items. Otherwise, we'll go back to uh, anniversary quest stuff afterwards. Oh, you're an MAC bed right now? We'll wait a couple minutes. Is this a before? I think it's worth doing it with four people. So, so far we've tried to get the power six items we haven't seen, <laughs> or at least I haven't seen drop Cannon Rouge, Evan Striker, Excal, Galatine, Frozen Shooter, and of the common three, we have done a few runs that technically have Disco Gray Man, but like literally nothing has dropped. So it's been a very dry run so far, or a series of runs so far. It's a bit unfortunate. So we'll wait until we have a fourth player. But I think from the standpoint of... What about that flowin'? Yeah, getting a 50 hit flowin' feels pretty terrible after getting like literally all zero Daylight Scar and... You know, subpar Galatines, I think, the other day. So sad. There we go. Murphy's back. Murphy dropped. Rip Murphy. Joined to die. I think PSO maybe crashed. Question mark. But yeah, I think the goal will be... Oh, there we go. Now if Trey... 
Look at that, everybody almost 140. Tia, I don't know. I mean, we'll probably go back to anniversary event stuff. We could try the atrocity quests again. I just didn't want to do it when a lot of players were like 120. I think as we get closer to 150, I'd feel more confident. I know players like Murphy or like Helkly or like Promethean will have the items needed to carry the run, but it's definitely a big ask for the newer players that don't have the gear to survive like an Epsilon. They just don't have like the literal roll HP or like roll ATP needed to do anything. <laughs> Helkly is like, yes! I said Helkly's name in a mirror three times and he has appeared. Welcome Helkly. So I figure I'd do a little more anniversary stuff, and then for the final hour, we'll probably just do TTFs. So we'll take a little food break, and then go back to uh, more stuff afterward. Yeah, this should get everybody pretty leveled. Downside of not fast casting. That's fine though. We want to live for those Gafoe stacks. I have 29 of Fireball. Not bad. Magical piece would have made that like what 580 or so. It would make a difference. I think there's a couple enemies I'm like close to killing in one Fireball combo. But we'll we'll take the buffs we have now over what we had before. I should level again, speaking of which. I'll become a little tankier. But unfortunately, my defense is still terrible. I'll do a couple freezes here to help out, but again, predominantly I should just be completely stacking. In preparation for Goron spawning in or Gorus is instantly dying. I feel a little targeted there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna need them to not target me for a second. Thank you. Now leave me alone and perish. I'm too close to them. I was standing more over here and I realized they pushed me more. <laughs> I got bullied into bad positions. So sad. To stay around here-ish. I'm not gonna bother looking at any of the rares. My goal is to go Bowie stack. Ooh, I'm so close to killing them. Hmm. You can see it. I'm like just a little shy. Yeah, I think if I go and get a magical piece, I could probably speed up the run. The problem is, who has my magical piece? I'm assuming my Fomoral does, but I should have a second one. But who has my floating magical piece is the question. That's the character that shouldn't still have it. I'm imagining it's a Newman that shouldn't have it. Lock number one. Prometheus has found Psychoma. Nice. Goodbye, random enemies. Yeah, I guess we could continue to hunt as a support for the for more of the power six. Because I, I ideally want to have something like that will carry a run. Like we still haven't found a single cannon rouge. That's kind of crazy. We did how many surface runs across two days? But not a single player has seen one. Kind of unfortunate. Hopefully things will change today. I guess I could go back to like surface reds or something. Because I, I would like to fight with a non-zero cannon rouge. Because most of mine are pretty terrible. This wave I gotta care about. There we go. There we go. Back to the Gaboe side. Yeah, we can 
probably help healthy with some of his hunts at some point. Might be later today though, we'll see. Black Hound has found Red Rang, nice. Yeah, we'll end the stream as always with TT Epic Guns, don't worry about that. We added a little bit to Ruins, we added, well, Forest doesn't need any more points, but technically we added to Forest. And we'll see how we feel about an August Atrocity at some point today. We'll see how the time works out. And again, I'm not in a super rush to do it. At least people are no longer 120, so that's always good. Odds of survival going up rapidly. Do you have 1300 ATP or 1300 effective health versus a uh, fire blast of an epsilon? Only reward is more work. Oof. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. We'll assist a little bit here. Oh, there's a demon user. Okay. Don't need to assist that hard. We need to care about the Marissas more. Like, listen, I want to make sure these Marissas don't do anything. Then when the Rappies come down, it'll be like, nope. The one button victory is real. I'm hoping one of us gets a Slicer Fanatic. That'd be nice. That'd be a really great pickup for Tower. Somebody being able to consistently do that is nice. I do have one I should probably identify, so if nothing else, I could probably give that to one of my features. Oh, I got hit. Unfortunate. Hello, Zoo. Oh, he's so strong, chat. Yeah, so we're getting a little over 700 experience a second. This XP is crazy. Which is perfect when you have players that just need to level just a little bit <laughs> to survive things like balls. I mean, Murphy was, like, what? Approaching 140 or so last time we played with Murphy. Everybody else... Getting up there. All I care about is the Gafoe stack. Long live the Gafoe stack. Yeah, I'll care a little bit about this wave. Debuff, debuff. Back to Gafoe. Yeah, there's a lot of enemy here, so the odds of me getting hit are pretty high. That's why I'm gonna stop doing what I do, just to interrupt the wave. I'm hoping between a cast and another forest, that Goron Detonator should get shut down hard. That way my Gafoe can be free. Speaking of which, goodbye Marissa waves. So essentially, they don't even have to fight the Marissas ever, which is my intent. And then I can also kill lizards instantly. I can half health most Gorons. I can do like a third health to Pyro Gorons, which is still not bad. Oop, time to leave. Nice. Oh. Non-fast cast actually trolling me. There we go. Gertabulu, we'll do his allure, help out a little bit. Definitely, I don't think they had an element on the claw. That's fine, they died fast enough anyway. Again, 680 experience a second. Kinda hard to top that with anything in the game. Cookie Quest is silly. Though sadly, still no Slicer Fanatics for anybody. Hmm. And we'll go two more, then we'll uh, switch run. It's usually about every hour we kind of cycle through quests, it feels like. So much value on them. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why the uh, escape dolls disappeared from the uh, reader, so... I don't remember if we talked about this on stream in detail, but I, I put a map file out on my YouTube video, as well as the Discord channel, so if you do miss that, and you would like to see scape dolls again, I did add in the hex. I forgot I have to do the thing where I take the hex from the wiki and then I basically go backwards and add a zero. Because <laughs> I'm assuming it has to do with like the little Endian, big Endian conversion of how the game reads the map items versus what the 
the things you use. So anyway, we have a custom color. It's close to what I think it was before. I'm sorry, is the forecast faux Newman or something? It is. <laughs> I looked at that rare bonus, and I'm like, wait a minute, 148. It says luck smiles upon me, but I don't feel very lucky today. I mean, unless you think 8 ma defense materials is lucky, I guess. Yeah, this raw XP should help people push through those awkward levels with uh, multiplayer characters. He's gonna say the brave Humar. We'll pass out for the Humar together. Who ID Humar? Interesting. stump as I wait. We're just waiting for the fourth player. Go says spots open if anybody wants to join. We'll give people a minute. Usually somebody will hop in a cookie quest. We only have two more to go. Okay, let's take a look at the anniversary event. What quests are lagging behind it by how much? So far, I've done many temple runs. I think I've gotten literally zero Vivian this whole event. That's that's definitely a feels bad moment. Welcome back, Kaiser. Uncle is finishing up the trade. But just the August atrocities, huh? Okay. See how it goes at some point, I suppose. Also, I am kind of sad the anguish bonuses were not uh, stacking into the drop rate or rare rate. I remember when we used to do those, and then it was like, oops. No stack. Like, did Anguish give you that plus 4%? Nope, not anymore. It sucks to be you. Also, I just realized. I re equip. Long live the Gafoe stack. I should level midway through the quest, which is nice. That'll save me a Trifluid, given that I don't have a second Adept on, which would be ideal over the Heavenly HP. I'll grants to speed it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll Grants one more time to speed it up a bit. There we go. The Goron should walk into this. Let's debuff, debuff, or get lasered. Guess, I guess that's like debuffing. <laughs> it stops other allies from getting hit. I guess that's close enough. should slow down the zoos. We're just gonna make sure we just try to debuff anything that could get out of control, like the Pyrogoron. I guess we'll freeze him. Back to Gafoe stacking. Should die to Gafoe. There, there we go. That is really scary A Ryuker is near my feet because I'm spamming the confirm button. Not gonna lie, I don't like that placement. It's also going to make picking up items later a very interesting thing. Let's Tiba. Tiba. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I've been going for a lot of items, like both on stream and off stream, but like, as I said before, I feel like we've gotten literally nothing, which is definitely a feels terrible moment. <laughs> Just like. I mean, we, I mean, between, like, getting the, uh, Quintuple Conjure you, 
and getting literally nothing, and then uh, St. Millions hasn't dropped anything. We've done our teas. Like we had we had like nice early luck with the event and then just nothing. It's been dry for at least like four days at this point. That's kinda rough. Yeah, we'll mentally reset, I think, after some food. May maybe things will arrange in our favor. Use a couple dive fluids here. I know I'm about to level up. I prefer not to use the tri fluid. There we go. Now our damage is a little better. We weren't quite capped before. We're still not capped. Debuff, debuff, debuff. That way they can kill quickly. Work nonsense is finished for now. That's good news for birthday. So if there's anything the current group would like to hunt, let me know after this. Because we'll do some things before we end with a classic TTF. Since most people, when, when asked what item are they looking for, the answer has been Red Ring. I got hit out of the debuff. So sad. I gotta heal this. Let's care about this wave a little more. Debuff, debuff, debuff. Razan? There we go. Close enough. <laughs> Not my cleanest menu ever, but at least we got there. Has to feel awkward without instant shutdown on the Gurdabulu? A little bit. A little awkward. I have to put more of a pause and actually grants the Gurdabulus. Got spoiled by demons. Should die hopefully pretty quickly here. Stacks. Thank you, Gafoe. Debuff's going. There we go. You know, the wave a little bit. Old badge, nice. Why divide and dropped? I guess that's okay. I don't think I really need them. Buy the Gafoe stacks. Like, don't make me wiggle the stick aggressively in the technique menu. Thank you for the heal. <laughs> I did. I had buffered Gafoe on wake up. Truly the wake-up option to end all wake-up options. Did most of the team, now like 146. Iser's already a really healthy 160. I'm gonna keep getting trolled because I'm not fast casting. It's so sad. I need to react a little quicker to the non-fast cast so I can get the Jelen out earlier. Cool. Back to the Gafoe stack. Back up respect the swing because I don't have fast cast. Back to Gafoe stacking. So much free damage. And most of the team's powering up quite a bit. The zoo, I was like, that zoo is living way too long. I was like, what's going on? The thing should be like literally a combo kill. There we go. Uh, let's put some freeze out. Uh, 
nice. Arista should be dead. They just have to kill the zoos, and I think we're good. I hear rares dropping, but I'm not excited because I don't think they're the enemies that I care about at all. Oh, it's a gold badge. Decent, I guess. As I said before, that's, that's not the reason we're doing these hunts. I kind of want to see something today. I'd like to say that in three hours, we got something that would be worth farming for. It would be nice. Get a debuff here. Nice slicer action. Love to see it. Let's go pick up the badges. I like everything but the badge. Cool. Targeting slash player failure. So many materials. I want that. No, I don't think I do. I think I got everything of interest. We'll do one last one, which should level this character again. Yes, I'll put away the Glide Divine into the share bank. I know this character has one, it's not even a question. should we do for about an hour? Hmm. Oops. Talk to the other guy. I want that Masetta. I'm kind of greedy for the Masetta. You're playing Hughcast or whatever solo. Like, <laughs> my run cost me 80,000 because I giant everything out of existence. I want that money. Okay, final one, and then we'll go back to something. There are quests we haven't done that we usually do during these kinds of event quests. Like, do I feel like doing off-meta forest quests? Do I feel like doing anniversary things? Because, unfortunately, so many people have played forest that there's, like, no point to doing the low-level stuff. I'm close under 20, 20k, got 20k from Vernon. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I was trying to dodge around that telepipe. I was like, man, like right there. Brutal. Want to do seabed? I guess I wouldn't mind seabed. But at the same time, I'm like, what do I really want to hunt in seabed? There's, um. Like, in theory, could do Heaven Strikers, which I still have not seen at all in this event. There's Cycle 1 on Blue ID. I wouldn't mind another Yun Chang, but I'm not, like, excited for one either. Yeah, no, I appreciate you moving it at one point. <laughs> I definitely got scared because I'm like, uh, I hope I never misclick my menu. I'm probably going to die. Let's teleport myself into another dimension. And we made sure to Zalor here since our team doesn't have uh, the damage yet. There we go. I think that's just kind of the problem. Like, I do like Crater, but like, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of burned out on episode 4. Like, I, I do want a Cannon Rouge, but, you know, we did, like, eight hours of Cannon Rouge hunts, I think, between two days. Because we did, like, how many purpose into full clears? Plus, it's the end of Even Beat. Like how I just see a fire technique. Ring of fire burns any nearby enemies. Uh, and funny enough, we already have a daylight scar. That, that was like the only rare that I did get, and funny enough, it wasn't from Spaceship. So I, I have no personal motive to ever do Spaceship. 
It's probably my one of my least favorite areas in the game outside of tower. Um, I don't really want to do purple mines. I want to do. We already did ruins today. I could, in theory, do caves. Or if I really just wanted to suck it up for Cannon Rouge again in Crater. Hmm. Because we did, like, Green ID Crater, we did Red ID Crater. So, we didn't see a single Dwarf on a Claire this whole event so far, which is so sad. Pay attention a little more. Hmm. Yeah, possibly post break we'll do August atrocities to bring that up a little bit. I am kind of curious what the AK rewards are, but I also don't want to feel like we're the only team that plays the August atrocity either. Like, it was nice to do it once where we saw nobody was touching it for like a whole hour and <laughs> we, we pushed it through, but. You know, at the same time, like, there are good anniversary quests to play. Oh, I'm so dead. We're not? Okay. Didn't get hit by the Goron. I'll take that. Debuff. There we go. A bit of Sunlock. Back to the Bowie. So dead, yeah. No, I was like, yeah, GG, I didn't get healed. Rip. The perils of Faux Newman wearing ultimate frame and, and ultimate difficulty. Definitely debuff time. That should speed up the clear. Yeah, I don't know. I just wish there was, like, a more definitive run. Like, we used to do things, like, prior to this year, like, we would do obviously do a mix of Terrell's Ego, but we'd also do things like Rescue from Regal. It's like, do I, do I want to try to Rescue from Regal just because we haven't done it? Or would I rather just do an Endless? I don't know if I feel like raising points based off of what's here. It's mostly the areas that are not really that fun to play with new players. Like, the closest that would be fun is Crater, but we were doing that earlier. Hmm. He did up a little with the grants there. Honestly, I'm kind of at the point where I might just say screw it and do TTF for another hour. Then we'll come back and do other hunts. Zinoho Cleave is looking for a myriad of things, but those are like very specific hunts. Or HP looking like, not bad. Oh, there's a Slicer Fanatic. There we go. It only t it, it took four cookie quests, but we finally got one. Get rid of these enemies. Rolled pretty terrible from what I saw of it. No hit. But uh, it, it's still pretty good on raw moral. Yeah, it just rolled machine. Not that exciting. Just gonna unlock here a little bit. That's fine. As far as I can eat this Kapoe. I guess this team wouldn't be bad for an RT. Really, we haven't done an RT in a while. Nobody's <laughs> nobody's playing Hunter anymore. It's all Rangers. The 
power material behind because we don't need it. Actually, I should have teleported out because I just realized they're going to be putting items away. Yeah. An okay amount of items. We'll have to hold on to our bronze badges since I capped. At some point, we'll do some uh, bronze gambling, I think, just to get rid of these. Should be good enough. Okay. So, hmm. feel like doing. Uh... You know what? Because we haven't actually done it, I'm going to do it to say that we did it. Why don't we do Rescue from Regal? It's been a while since we played that quest. It should be a stupid amount of uh, bad chances, and we're gonna go for, I guess in theory, Mildly and Vices. That is a Forest Caves run. That's not a particularly hard quest, I just don't recommend uh, dying since you'll get booted out. He's three PDs on him, why? So many questions. He's got the temple. He's almost ready to go. Let's do a couple of those, and then we'll end with maybe two or three TTFs. And then when we come back, we'll focus on anniversary quests again. I think it's a good flow where we just kind of do anniversary in the beginning, and then we just kind of do whatever afterwards. Because it, it kind of levels people for, like, the later quests. technique. I probably want Adept. Be a resist dark. Probably also want to cure paralysis. That one. Survey says. Yes. We also have a spare heavenly. Interesting. I don't need it in this run. I probably want to put this in my share bank to be honest. Mostly just need a three seals, to be honest with you. Most enemies just take lightning damage here, so I don't think I'm gonna really change anything about this run. Might need to stop here. Sorry to hear that, Murphy. So we'll do probably this run until five o'clock, so probably two runs or so, and if I don't think I can complete it before five, we'll just finish out with like three TTFs. I think that should be fair. We should be able to do at least two of these runs. Angotron has arrived. He's using the maxed mind mag. Why? Like, I looked at his stats, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I would like 250 more MST, please. Okay. So you just need one more player. So in theory, this is another Cycle 1 run, which is weird. Actually, it is kind of funny. I think almost every run we did in the previous session had a chance of Cycle 1, whether it was something like Bull Claw or Del Beater or any of the silly runs in CCA. But I think after the break, we're going to do a mix of uh, Anniversary, whatever needs cleanup, and then uh, probably just harder runs for the most part, slash niche runs. So if we want to do like I don't know, like purple mines or whatever, we could do it. I was wanting that Yashmitikov vice foray <laughs> of nonsense. Okay, so we just need one more player. So this particular one should get Frozen Shooter, Heavenly Arms, Technically Psycho Wand. Yeah, it's just Caves and Forest. And I feel sad because this used to be like my go to, but now I don't have like a lot of motivation to play it anymore due to how the HBR works. 
I want to play it just to say that I played it during the event. Yeah. Okay. Let's proceed. Aikuni is here. I would say just look out for the lilies. Respect the lilies. I will try to shut them down. We will also have to go to caves and respect. Hopefully we'll join after the break. Yeah, hopefully. Let me know what quests you want to run. You can ping it to me on the Discord, and then I can write it down. Because when it's in the Twitch chat, I sometimes forget to do it. And we'll do a lot of Hellcleave oriented runs. I imagine most of them will probably be things like... I don't know, LNK38 Combat, CCA, and stuff like that. Yeah, this enemy- this quest has a lot of enemies. It's not gonna be ever as popular as, like, Trails Ego. It used to be, like, if I felt the Trails Ego burnout because I'm doing, like, legitimately 30 hours plus the Trails Ego uh, prior to the HBR changes. This would be the other quest I would do to mix things up a little. So if I get another he Heavenly Arms, that would be useful. Otherwise, it's going to be lots of Rafoe and or Rizonde. And I think what I like about this quest over some of the other quests is just the raw number of enemies. Because honestly, like, when there's only, like, five enemy five enemies a wave, like, yes, it's easier to control, but then it's like, why bring a force? I just feel like, especially with the damage cancel changes, just like, wow. <laughs> Wow, oh wow, is it, of course not needed at all in most runs, even with the updates. Because now I'm not worried about somebody's Vulcan interrupting like a super heavy hit. At the end of the soundtrack. It was. Go forward a little bit. Next game. We're now on number four. Yeah, the only downside to this quest is I don't think there's ever really a room where I can super Gafoe stack. Or Terrells has a few of those where it's just like alternating wolf waves and they can kind of get blown out. I'm gonna go get attacked by the lone Rappy. There we go. Let's use the namesake of the build. Oh, Rare Rappy. Where's it at? I don't want to spook it wherever it is. It must be near me. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Cat, I would like to say we've officially seen Rare Rappy before a single door found a clear for some reason. We did, like, a few forest quests today. I don't think purple gives anything interesting, but I'm going to murder it for the sake of murdering it anyway. Sacred Cloth. <laughs> They're all decent. I forget if that's the Cure Poison or Cure Pro It might just be the Cure Poison one. Or it's Oh, it is Paralysis? I always forget which one is which. I guess that's fun. <laughs> LNK combat acquired. Which I like just out of range from Rabarda. So sad. Yeah, I can't really kill the Talos with lightning, but everything else dies to lightning. Okay, 
Alright, so it looks like my Rosanja is set up in a pretty good place, so I could in theory do this. There we go. Look at that chat. <laughs> the Force Hand minigame. How comfortable are you mashing that menu repeatedly without dropping something? I like it in a sense because it at least lets you see glimpses of the radar versus the other method. I can at least see where they are and I can also have a bigger view of everything so the view is not shrunken with the other menu. We're gonna go ahead and say no to this wave. We're gonna put a little fireball down and we're gonna move towards the exit. Which happens to be in the north. I feel bad for when Dragon's gonna spawn at some point in this quest. I'm gonna have to trust- I'm gonna believe in the cast to deal with these traps, because I'm- I'm actually scared of them. I think that they can 100% kill, uh, Tycoon right now. Zero doubt. Unless Tycoon has, like, some, like, 50-something fire resist. Their damage is really high. So I would recommend to not face-check the room. Unless you have a trap vision, then it's fun. If you have Lieutenant Mantle, by all means. I don't, so I'm like, I'm gonna put the fear. I think- I think we saw that they did, like, 1100 damage or something. And because if you die, it exits you from the quest, uh, it- we'll, we'll take it slow where it needs to be taken slow. Oh, these guys are ice. Nicely done. laser for the team. Our materials, that's not bad. I think this room is trapped for me at least. The ones that look like a small arena, those are the ones I'm scared of. Because I know there's some that are in, like, the the equivalency of four corners of the circle. I'm going to try to stunlock the lilies at a distance so none of us die. Slowly get closer. It's so sad in multiplayer, they're no longer weak to lightning. I might have to switch to ice to account for the multiplayer differences. This character would have like the dumbest clear in cave with purple. Almost everything is weak to lightning. If it does zero, it still stuns them. Don't mind me, box checking through the Nano Dragon. Stun the lilies a little here, give the team a chance to get closer. Keeping the dragon, put him in combo kill range, nicely done. Freeze the lily here. We're taking so much damage. Love it. For 
future reference, what were the other RBR quests? You know, the other one is Sweep Up. We did that before. That was mines. Oh, Lost Demon's Railgun. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, no. Oh, War Limits too. Mm. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to all those. <laughs> the Sweep Up one was fine. I just don't really find mines all that exciting. But if we're doing that for like something other than Excal, maybe. Definitely taking the money. the room I'm scared of. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, where are the traps? They're either in this room or the next room. I have died to them before. Oh, we found out where one of the traps was. <laughs> oh, a vice dropped. Oh, no good percentage though. Boo. So technically we got one of the items of the run. Other than sacred cloth, I guess, technically. Three seals, I sh should survive the trap, I think. It does insane damage. Yeah, this is the room I'm scared of. I, I know they're all around me. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> Alright, I think Dango took care of the ones that are near me. So if I get punched by accident towards the lilies, I don't die. And Dango, we trust. I almost feel like just for this quest, I should just wear a Lieutenant Mantle. Do a live and learn for the people that are playing along. Okay, across from us should be a healing circle. I'm gonna go take it. Mango can restock here as well. Cautiously navigate my way to the door. These boxes, my boxes. Team. Interest. I believe we're gonna fight the dragon now. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. This will help with the XP. Go dies to the dragon. I'm gonna be so sad. Actual, actual rip to Dango on this little dragon. It gets warped out of the quest. Quest over. Go for the glitch. Looks like slightly too slow. A glitch. That works. I'm gonna 
hold still since I want TP. Not bad. It's always funny not getting a message. After playing so much TTF, I feel like it's ingrained in me to wait for the dialogue. Like, wait a minute. That doesn't happen in this version. Little box checks, nothing of interest. We're gonna go to the very enemy heavy version of Forest One. And also a reminder, when we get to the point where we have to hit between two switches, let Dango choose. That forest trap also does like a thousand plus damage and will kill you. And that's that's with fire resist. I don't know why caves and forest trap damage is so high. I feel like that's a bug. Like there it, it makes no sense that like ruins or like spaceship or anything else is like half of the fire damage of those traps. Oh. Well the tour. Um I guess we might get a frozen shooter. Oh, wait, yes. Uh, didn't roll well, though. Yeah, zero hit. Hold with native machine. Eh. I guess in a way, we still got some value out of the run. It's, it's, uh, of all the quests to get it, I guess this is fine. I used to just do rare enemy hunts while doing this nonsense. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the whole room with Razond. Thank you, Razond. Talos. Filthy Talos chat. Now I have to care. Whatever. This shuts down the hill delts, but it also damages them. For the people that can't quite combo kill, I like that I'm still useful here. Rappies are trying really hard to bot me. Got bad news for them though. Stun lock is pretty good. Also, this quest used to absolutely break the uh, the item limit. I'm glad they increased the item limit on the floor. You can see we're like 205 is a D band. And we've had an insane number of drops that we didn't pick up in this run. Oh, bronze badge. Yeah. The other thing I'm happy about, they fixed that one warp in Terrell's Ego. Where if you accidentally started getting too close, you just made yourself invincible to the enemies in this room. I'm glad that that has not really happened ever again since the update. Now that's a quality of life change I was looking for. That used to be annoying when you discount how many waves there were. We'll do one more of these quests, and uh, I think it'll be TTF time. That way we could say we got more Frozen Shooter chances. Technically went for Psycho Wand again. <laughs> Technically. Air quotes. There's a healing circle back here. I guess it is worth taking, since there is like... I don't know, like 14 more spawns after this, if not more. Oh, another gold badge. Actually, feel like I got rewarded for doing this run. I think so far this has been my best run of the day. <laughs> Just, I don't think anything else has come close. I got gold badges. I guess I got a couple more PDs elsewhere, but I like the frozen shooter. Okay, let's continue one more. 
them. Yeah, I think later I need to move a uh, adept. Maybe between streams I'll put one of my spare adepts in here. Because I think not going double adept means I just burn out of trifluids way too consistently. Also, thank you, Razan. Don't mind me just shutting down every wolf wave. Get out of here. So many enemies to fight. I might as well just check to see if there's a hill detour here. You're wide open! Thank you for following I Hate Yard Work. Hope you're doing well today. There we go. Just in simple combos. says I'm free for the time being. Another gold badge? Well, we're making up for... I think we I think we did eight hours, only got one gold badge. We're starting to make up for earlier. Oh, I'm definitely checking this room. Die, Talos. <laughs> you will die so I can box check for PDs. You'll bet I'll make that check all day. Like, listen, I can resign through walls if I need to. Don't tempt me. This little optional room here. So we're getting up to the room that I'm worried about. We don't have like a Dangotron. We have to we have to make a choice. I don't remember if it's left or right. So there's gonna be one switch that will activate the platform. And I would wait for Dango. <laughs> Unless you have like 1300 health, then I would say you could face check it. But honestly, I think it would even kill uh, Trey right now. The damage of the trap is not to be underestimated. If you do not have like 30 plus fire resist, it's straight up doing a thousand plus and killing you. Yeah, one of those trap, one of those is real, one of those is fake. Hmm. Alright, so the one on the right was fake. I'll try to remember that in case we were going without a cast. And also, I can't believe I'm almost out of tri-fluids. Crazy run. I kind of want to find out if I will. Six more gold and you'll have the, the uh, virus armor. Nice. I have definitely played this solo. I think it was last year I did this solo. And I'm like, yeah, I have like 900 health in solo. I should be fine. Fire trap die. <laughs> like, I'm like, don't I have three seals? How did I not survive that with three seals? What is this damage? I'm like, I didn't realize Epsilon joined forest. Oh well, left a mine material behind. Now we're going into the final area, which is my favorite part of the run, where the number of enemies is insane. So have fun. See, this is where a forest chipping everything else out. Like, mm, love it. I feel like I do something in forest. Just so many enemy types. So we'll weaken everything for everybody. And I guess while this is coming out, I'll give Bowie spam a little bit. Might be a room I might be able to take advantage of it. Maybe if there's another spawn. Don't remember. Might be. Nope. Oh well, it's worth a try. Is this the room that punishes you if you go in the back of it? Let's find out. Let's learn in real time. No. Yes. <laughs> Correction, yes it is, but it's just Tello. Take little baby steps to dodge. Okay. Nice level up. Yeah, you can see the team is fighting the world over here.
I mean, just look how many enemies this is. <laughs> I, I love quests like this, chat. Like, I wouldn't want to do this in, like, CCA. Man, I would have so much fun if there's a tuple quest like this. You have no idea. You're like, wait a minute, I get a million Vivian chances in Rambling Maze? Hell yeah. You're not gonna make me walk, like, 50 rooms? Love it. I'm gonna leave out some Gafoes to maybe hit the Rappies. Saw that unloved defense material. Just casually drop it on the floor. And again, everything here just takes lightning damage. Hmm. This is like one of the few quests where I could see just like a 3 4 4, four horse party actually having fun. Just because you'd have like one person Gafoe stacking, you'd have two people lightning spamming, and somebody else just covers ice, and it would shut down every single room. Just because lightning just adds so much overall damage, and you don't need that much Gafoe stacking because it's forest. And then there's going to be the two sad lone guards at the door. They're so hosed out of here. Uh, since we're going to be in this final room forever, I'm going to try mate again preemptively. Uh, be ready for, like, non-stop waves. Favorite room in the game. <laughs> okay, let's get Bowie stack as best we can. This used to be like badge heaven, just because how many how many enemies are here. There we go. Almost killed the the Volkuses instantly. Thank you, Gafoe stacking. That just makes life easy when they're just guaranteed combo kill. enemies. Yeah, there we go. Red handgun. That'd be interesting. It rolled high machine percentage. I would potentially give you an offer. Uh, the percentage is nice, but not required. There we go. Mission complete. Hello, 304,000 experience in forest. <laughs> Totally normal numbers to receive in forest chat. I was gonna say Tycoon went from like 98 to 101 or something in that quest. We'll do it one more time. And it's TTF time. Again, it's like a quest that like most people can clear. If you got good gear, then you can clear it quick. Oh, zero machine, that's unfortunate. I'm always looking for something for the uh Hugh cast. The purple ID is at least nice to get that as an ult drop. There's like an okay amount of ult drops in this quest. 
but we'll do one more and then it's TTF time. I'll probably play Sky ID. You cast into it since we haven't played as him today yet. I was gonna say, this is the quest where, like, Slicer is amazing, Partisans and Swords are amazing. It's not very Vulcan friendly. Nine four twenty was also a star of destiny according to Blue Dawn. Nice. Assuming Tycoon is joining us again. There we go. I had to think about where it was for a second. So yeah, I think I got have enough time for maybe ATTFs. I'm gonna say Dangotron is enough HP for TTF at this point. <laughs> Dangotron's like, I am the damage. Oops, somebody hasn't walked in. There we go. Boom. Level up time. No worries. Full 29 base ATP, nice. Goodbye, Golgus. Please take your 350 and perish. We are out of range. How rare. Say Dango's ATP has ascended into the heavens, joining its rightful place among the Hugh Cast gods, slowly but surely. You cast same ATP as 143 humor. Oof. Life isn't fair. Oops. Hello, Rappy. That Rappy got deleted. For real. It landed. It perished. The luring forest feels a little mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I definitely don't need to do it, but then just sometimes it's funny. It's like, everybody's gonna combo kill now as the lure 30, shift to 30. I believe in you. Nicely done. It's clean up.
out of here, random enemies. There we go, chat. You could say I officially spent time with you doing, in theory, Psycho 1 on Purple ID. In theory. Box, there's nothing there. Thank you, fast cast for stun locks. I appreciate you so much. Get out of your heal, don't get stunned forever. Fear of the caves trap is real. I've lost too many runs to them. I respect them. Yeah, we're gonna lock down most of the room and hit the lilies. Hopefully I don't die to one of them dumbly. Barda, sadly. Big red sword says goodbye. Let me spawn these guys so you can start fighting. <laughs> Chat going in. I am so shocked when Koi hits from that far away. Koi, you're so silly. That graphic does not match the damage range, not even remotely close. That's the spell I have the hardest time visualizing. Rabarda, I can kind of like picture a ring around the ice and that's where it really hits. Rafoe, I have no idea. The radius feels like infinitely bigger. Every time I think it's done, like no. I'm gonna hit further. music so far. I, I I don't think I've played past Soul Calibur 2 during the fourth game soundtrack it is new. Not bad so far. It, it fits kind of like a general action background music, which is what I'm looking for. I don't think it I don't think it like speaks to me as hard as like a Yakuza or like a Judgment soundtrack does, but it does what it needs to do. buffed everybody. Another Ajito 1975. 
Speaking of not doing their job, YouTube, please. Nice confused trap to get them stuck together. Respect that. So many items I need to pick up later. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this quest is pretty brutal for forces without adepts, but when you have double adept, this quest is a lot of fun. I'm feeling it a little bit with one adept. I could not imagine doing this as the only force with only with zero adepts. I feel like that'd be miserable. Like, I already used, like, every die fluid in two tries. We're not even, like, remotely done with the run. Okay. I was worried. I'm never quite sure what my defense is like. They found a cycle one. Nice. It's always the mill lily. Maybe we'll do what ID Psycho Wand Hunts, fix things up later. At this point, I'm just looking for, as I said before, pretty much good versions or even basic versions of most of the Power Six. Uh, Vivian, Rambling May, Psycho Wand, that's pretty much it. E502 is always nice to have, I'm never going to complain about it. I almost walked on my own towards a fire trap and I was like, oh no, I don't know where they were. Please don't kill me, Lily. Okay, Lily shut down. I will gladly go restart. By random enemies. We'll still unlock the nano dragons. I would gladly take. Does the team like a million years to kill them with the thing? Done with that. Give people a chance if they want to use the healing circle. There we go. <laughs> Dango Tron's like, yes, refill my unlimited power. Oh, freeze traps, you're so broken. They are so good. I guess we're ready for a boss. Operation Don't Let Dango Die to the Dragon Falling Over. Can you imagine if there were rare versions of bosses? Like, aside from Episode 4? <laughs> Sil Dragon upgrades to Mill Dragon and all it does is Megan everywhere. <laughs> He's such garbage. Just, just like absolutely heinous boss design.
ESO2 is a sticky jam. Call out. Ooh, you got the glitch. Nice. Nice glitch. For those that don't know, when it's in that transition period between it standing and it shouting, there's a small window where it will still take damage. They've attempted to patch that many times. It's still there. It's just more annoying to do. But it's still possible to one-shot that dragon without doing anything in the final phase. Take that dragon. I, I'm almost expecting another hill to tour here. But I think we gave up our Psycho 1 chances. We didn't see any no lilies today. Oh well. I say the important thing is we're just feeding tons of experience to the hunters and ranger. Bonk, bonk. Buy everything near me. Another gold badge. Ooh. See, this, this is almost the raid I thought it was going to be when I was talking about potentially getting 20 gold badges from drops for the end of the uh, event. Now we're back on pace for that. So I was like, man, I really want to get up to 30. I'm like wondering if 15 was still too high, but no, going back up to 20, possibly 30. Just need to keep that up for like a whole week. I'll have what I need. Maybe we'll sphere for the first time, ever. Not even on stream, just ever. That should be interesting. I gotta unlock the other quest though for it. Let's just say Tower and I were not on speaking terms <laughs> when I thought when I got my first few photon spheres. Like, yeah. Like, I think I'm gonna pass. Try fluted. See all of these junk enemies. So many bad chances. Elysian with hit. Come on. Save that for something better. Iggy, did you see that wall of shame item? That one hurt the soul. It's like, why did that rare of all things get it? I was thinking of you, Tiggy, but we're looking for, like, calibers. Just rolled my eyes. Ooh, Heavenly Arms. There we go. I was about to say, it's about time somebody picked one of those up, but I'm sure that'll help Tycoon quite a bit. That 25 accuracy is no joke. That is useful to, like, pretty much 180. I think he's dead. There we go. Uh, if you go into the PSO portion, Tiki, there's threads connected to it. And one of the threads is Wall of Shame. We've been putting stuff in there. If you want to add your own things to the Wall of Shame, Tiki, shame, shame those bad item rolls. <laughs> We're useful item rolls on bad weapons. See if Tiggy's heart cries out when he sees that sniper. Goodbye, all my die fluids. You went to a good cause. I know there's a healing circle over here, but. Oh, actually, I thought there was more. Never mind, they went to a bad cause. I could have just waited. Oh well. Can't go powering up again. Getting juiced up. <laughs> Dango almost at level 120. Dango already at 1200 HP. Yeah, did your caliber in there? Oh no. Hey. 
That I know, Tiggy. That that, that had so much potential. <laughs> it's like, come on. I should probably remove. I I know I took a, a photo of it before. I'm gonna look to see where in the Discord and put it in there. There's one where I had a 75 hit, uh, heart laser, Tiggy. It was so sad. I hope I still have it somewhere. It was one of the saddest drops I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, come on. It's like, I feel like I'm actively getting trolled when I see stuff like that. Like, just legit garbage. Unusable. Oof, 90 hit striker. Or 90 dark, that's also painful. Wait, how did that not spawn the other way? Try this again. We didn't walk far enough. Yeah, there we go. So, joke's on you. All I wanted to do is Razan. Yeah. There we go. We cleaned it up with the team. We have Force Healed Dangotron. It's already 104. While Marl's getting stronger and stronger, now you have a heavenly arm. It's nice to say we got an upgrade in forest. You don't get to say that very often. Oh, we just got a little buff playing just casual forest. Question mark there, they could have trimmed them. Yeah, you'll see most people basically double stacking Heavenly Arms. I think we talk about that in the uh, the trading guide a little bit. Eventually you'll like slowly peel off a of Heavenly Arms for other things, but it's like the recommended setup for basically every character. Real chance at hill delts. Nope, only hill delts, no hill detours. Yeah, team, I think I got time for two or three TTFs based off the time. Leaning towards three. Activate the secret room. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be surrounded by the thing I can't kill. It's gonna be fun. Get off me. So many Talos. Okay, I'm luring him back to the main group. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Have fun with the Talos. I'm not dealing with those. All I hear are rare drops constantly in the background. This time I'm actually with the group in this room, so I can actually see it on the stream. 
so many enemies. Upper Ranger. Deal with word of enemies. You know what was the lore? I don't even think I could Zalore every target because there's so many of them. That's fun. Yeah, it's like I respect the quests and all that want you to have like specific positions so you get the nice freeze trap and there's like some satisfaction and like, oh, you know, there's triple Goron detonator here or there's like three groups of three across the room. And then sometimes you just want Monster Massacre. And honestly, I like Monster Massacre more. <laughs> just to be real with you. Just chaos as it comes in. Whether it's like random spawns or random room order. Not worried about having a perfect setup in the room. I'm gonna go back to how PSO started versus how PSO goes. So you're trying Inferno Bazooka? That's funny. Enemies. I was gonna say, that's a legit item on Fomoral. Everybody else is kind of mediocre. And we get to feel bad for the two door guards. They're so done. <laughs> Like, we killed all these enemies, they're like, hold on, we got a red door here, we better send in two of our finest, and then they just die, basically, instantly. Sadness for them. And just due to, like, the sheer raw number of enemies, I just like how many PDs and badges we get. So it's like, even if you're not farming, like, quote-unquote value from the rares itself, and as I said before, there are actually good rares here. Um, it just is funny in how many kills you can get. I mean, you think on average, it's very rare for you to go more than one run without getting a PD. Let alone PD equivalent. Since they heard the song before, didn't know it was Soul Calibur. Check to see what the song name is. Anatos. So much of a massacre move a little closer to the Rappies. I think I spooked them last time. So many enemies, there we go. Nice, congrats on hitting 105. Rappy's actually outlasted. Okay. So we got a frozen shooter so far today. That's fine. Gotta clean out the techniques in my bag. I think I'm getting really close to capping. Got four gold badges today on this character. Walkers. How many am I up to in just the share bag? 20, right? Or not 20. No, 22 now. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'm getting close to my goal of 40 so that I could do the Photon Sphere, the remaining badges that I got. Because last year I earned about 50, so I was thinking, like, if I just earn, like, another 40 or so, I should be fine. And I was hoping to get at least 20 to 30 self-found. So... That kind of put us on track again, since I found, I think, at this point, 11. 
which is good, because we still have half of the event left to go. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in a Sky ID character. Time to murder. I did not put away the Adept. Hold on, I gotta fix that first. We're watching the modded Super Smash Bros. Brawl videos that put in custom music. I used to play some of that a while ago. I haven't played competitive games in a while. I don't think they're good for me. I stopped being good at them a few years ago anyway, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Play this. We just need seven more levels, and he can use the red ring that he already has. If we get another one, that's potentially for my raw moral. What did you miss? We did briefly some cookie quests, just for you, Promethean. Shout out to Promethean. Tycoon's taking a break, so we have a free slot. We're going to be doing two TTFs, and then that is it for the it before we go on break. We're nearing a little. A little over five hours on stream. You did miss the cookie quest. We did pink ID for a slicer fanatic, and we did get it. Then we'll doing a duck emote of some sort. So we do have a free slot. Tycoon dropped out. So just let me know, chat, who would like to join in for some TTI. We'll be doing two runs of it before the stream ends. The music in the videos are recognized. King of Hearts and Final Fantasy music, and now there's some I didn't recognize. Cause still look at SoCal Barosi. Nice, nice. Parameter will swap characters. So we. So we'll, I'm not sure who's confirmed. So Parameter's in. And I guess that potentially would mean either Hellcleave or Promethean? Promethean has slipped in. Do a little dance. In honor of Hellcleave, we'll do the Hellcleave B communication. He plays less so he gets the spot, that's fair. Now we'll just wait on Imperameter. Vulcan's going. Anything of fun we should be looking out for in Sky ID? <laughs> Nar Lily has Sange if we really want it. Otherwise, Baran's has Incesta maybe? <laughs> I was gonna say, damage, has damage is here. Oh, the flex, 175 cookies. I think I just used down to 48. But we'll be using those to power level at some point. I think this might level me to run. Let's see. Too bad as a robot, I cannot eat them, true. No mouth for us. Only faceplate.
I was gonna say, I can imagine Dango finally taking this character to DTF, he just immediately gets red ring. <laughs> Esther cookie power, get the upgrade. Mm. Yeah, there's not so not too anything too crazy. I guess in theory, if Dango made the game, we could do a Viridian game next time. I'm seeing a, a nice little Viridian ID on the chest plate. That way you could get another LNK chance for uh, Dango. Marco asking LNK from Radiant Boss Drop. Exactly. The uh, Worm Boss. You roll A. Thank you for the Zalore. That should get some free kills. I love free kills as I play. Another gold badge. I officially have found more gold badges here than the entirety of last week, by the way, chat. Just today. Where was this earlier? Just. Give a little call out on PSO on that one. What's up with that? I think that's my fifth one. I only found four, I think, prior. Yeah, you, Viridia, Viridia can technically do RT, but I, I really don't like Viridian RT. I'll be real with you. I think it's the worst I need to do it on. It, it in theory can do it. I always see that in the recommendations for the guides, and I'm like, are we really going to push for Viridian RT over blue or yellow on RT? Are we really not even going to mention those on the guides? Add Infidia staff? Oh no, I don't want to add Infidia staff. Why would I want to do that? Goodbye. <laughs> I just see him there and I'm like, oh, like technically, Infidia, I think Viridian is like the worst idea in episode two. I don't think it's really close either. Just like, nah, hard pass. They get like nothing in CCA. But they, in theory, get Parasitic Gene Flow. And then technically a bad Psycho 1 for some reason. Actually, I have a genuine question. Why is that Psycho 1 worse in Viridian than any other location? What's up with that? Can we talk about that? That I actually have a genuine question on. Go check the drop rate chat. Unless they've since changed it since I looked. There are three Psycho Wand chances from what I remember in Seabed, and one of them hilariously is just like lower for some reason. Like, did they think Viridian was too good? What's up with that? I'm like, Viridian has nothing in episode two, just give it to them, who cares? I mean, they got an okay temple just because of Frozen Shooter, but like beyond that, it's like, mmm. Be like that—that's that, that's a no for me. Great mysteries of life, chat. One, two, three. Slime dupe o'clock. See, we gotta get any fun badges from them today. On a grinder so far. A little boring. Uh oh, somebody LOL'd. Wonder if they got a badge there. I forgot to restock my Televipes. Do that after this run. I'll just be I'll believe in the Jaya. <laughs> I want to see how fast I kill with it. Oh, I cost him the level by killing it. That's funny, actually. I'm trolling Dango full screen. Take that Dango level up. You'll be at full HP and you'll like it. Oh, no Zalore. Rip. Ouch.
No worries. I was like, wait a minute. I, I giant twice and the boss is, or three times and the boss is still here. Madness. I love that it just like straight does 10k. It's kind of insane. And it's like full power. No worries. It happens to everybody. Uh, get some cheeky kills on them. Yeah, give me those free kills. Ooh, three free kills. Love it. Just extra badge chances for everybody. Yeah, this event is pretty good for leveling new characters. It's just, if you already have some, it's still probably recommended you focus on a character unless you just literally can't climb with them for whatever reason. Like your first character's Ramar and you're really desperate for debuffs in solo or something. I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do the timed freeze trap. Use it here when you see him appear, walk away, let it auto detonate. Freeze kill. I guess I'll confuse trap this room. Maybe they'll kill each other. That'll be fun. Yeah, free kill. I love my free kills. I know they're gonna do it. Yeah, free kill. Two free kills. Nice. Right, so these guys actually drop something, so I might as well do the hard check there. The hard music plays as we approach full up. Sure, it'll be fun. I'm not going for the stun lock. I, I'm gonna slow it initially in case somebody can't get it, but I'm gonna hand off. Two cash should not stun lock. My only rule. Alright, so somebody was spreading it next to me. I'll try to shoot once to slow it, give them another chance, but as soon as I see them shooting it, I'm not touching it. Because at least you cast as huge ATP. I put red hand going on with machine, so it should be okay. this to slow it down if I need to. Oh, the real one was behind me, unfortunate. It's disco time. As we've learned from experience, there is a probably 90% chance this is going to target me. And maybe if it's merciful, it will heal instead. But it's probably going to target me as I berserk. Yeah, I'm being targeted. Unfortunately for it, I should outkill it. Oh, it killed me during the cutscene. That is so rude. That is so rude. Man. We did outkill it, but his pillar did not respect the cutscene. What a cheater. So sad, chat. Is that my only escape doll? The jerk. Well, let's have to play flawless, I guess. Whatever. I targeted the claw through the dark ringer. That's a new one. <laughs> it's like like okay Vulcan. I don't know if I I don't know if I agree with that targeting there. I don't know if I should feel bad about that. It's like, okay. Went for the furthest target for some reason. I was just barely not able to get it. It saw a ranger, it couldn't help itself. It turned weirdly to fight the ranger. Sorcerers really dislike rangers. It's what have we, we've been learning. Do some funny things when a ranger's in the room. Music agrees. Fine. Okay, move on. Unless we want to kill the sorcerer. I guess I could kill the sorcerer. I'm already here. I'm just going to kill the sorcerer. The rest I don't care about. <laughs> it's in theory, it's Psycho Wand. Woo! <laughs> it's 
gonna say the the build up as we go towards falls is something. I was gonna say falls boss music as per Soul Calibur. Okay, so equip red handgun to make sure I can one shot with just shift to twenty. A nice little equipment check there. Poke up to two. Can we get this third one? Nice. I want to stay up here because I know I'm going to be vulcaning in a moment. Oh, three. Uh, something must have missed in the previous wave because that should have been it. We off by one. Two. Okay. Some cheap hits on it. Uh, gonna be interesting. Uh, our dodge over here. Awkwardly, gotta go deal with that in a second. Man, this is uh not a good boss pattern. And please. <laughs> oh now you're just trolling. Boss is actually just trolling. Oh, there's just 20 seconds of silence for some reason in the song. Cool. Again, they should just trim that. I'm just saying, it doesn't. It takes like not even 30 seconds to trim it. Very easy to delete. Okay, boss is almost dead already. Nice. So despite that bad pattern, I'm happy with how the rest of the fight went. Or falls. We're gonna keep leveling up Dangotron. No banner. Unfortunate. Yeah, sadly I might have to just make it to one more after this. We'll have Dango make the game. It'll be a little tight. I have to do something at six. There we go. I'm out of there. is getting closer and closer. I'm not even like rushing his levels. I'm actually just I'm actually having a pretty good time with him in TTF. Just his raw damage, even with just like level 20 buffs and debuffs, it just doesn't matter. It's so high. Just one buttoning most things. He's allowed to hit land his special. We're gonna do a double confuse trap there. Should result in a couple kills hopefully. 
Yeah, there we go. Free kills. Just squeezing out that little teeny bit of extra XP and badge chances. Enjoy doing that. As long as I'm not like really slowing up the run, I think it's fine. Like I shouldn't be spending like 40 seconds or whatever in a room. But just like another like one or two extra seconds or even four, not that bad. We're at like a wait room. Might as well as do something useful. Let's go for the glitch. Ooh, I think we just barely got it. Kill end. Fine. I saw his health adjust again. I'm gonna try to guess where the warp is. In fact, I'm gonna go bottom left. Is does this does this take me where I wanna go? It does, it's opposite. Oh, it's opposite. Okay. That does it that now explains things. So when I go in there, I'm trying to go what I kind of picture as like bottom right. But I'm holding left, but I went right of the warp. That's interesting. So I think I need to do a mix of bottom right and bottom left to even out between the warps. Oh, don't hit me, slime. That would make me so sad. So we're gonna put a freeze trap here. was gonna happen, but that's okay. Oh, the slime already died. I think I heard the slime. Move, but heard something else die at the same time. Okay, cleaned up some lilies. Oh no, nano dragon. Uh, I'm gonna panic die, mate. Yep, that was a good call. Oh, <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, chat left me with the thing that will heat seek and kill me. Cool. Almost died there, but now I have invincibility trigger. <laughs> it's like, I don't think it could dodge that if it's homing, and I'm like, no. No dodge, only death. You almost got me. Close. Bye, slimes. Aw, oh, defense material. Boo. Also, I forgot to teleport. I mean, I guess I could still do it, but whatever. Uh, I guess I'll Jaya again. By telepipes at the end of this run for sure, since it's the final run. Unless we do phenomenally fast run. <clears throat> Would be quite something. Ouch. Do not have invincibility. That went much faster. Now I hold bottom right to end up. Against the boss drop. Let's see what the boss dropped. Nothing of interest. Use trap into use trap again. You did all those guild chicks. Combo kill. I think he's farming a heart of item. I'll let him do that. I'll continue the run. We'll make progress. Let's clean up this room a little bit for the group. Might get a kill? Maybe? Really close. Am I gonna get to- he's gonna live at 46. Wow, that's un- that's actually unlucky. Oh, there we go, he just died. Somebody killed him. Whether it was an enemy or an ally, whatever. Would've been annoying if he lived. Uh, you can punch me all you want, I'm just gonna walk around you. There we go. I had faith. 
that free strap was gonna get hit. I'd fave. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Odds of Lieutenant Mantle high. Get out of here. Boom. Dengotron 121 or power. Oh, I am not where I thought it was in that order. Twin Blaze over here in case it gets away. for 10 PD. What are you planning to use the Cleo for? GG, ball up. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to I'm ready to get caged, chat. If I get caged, I'm embracing it. If it missiles me, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, it actually went after uh Ethan. Well, free him the one way I know how. From moral debuffing, that's fair. All right, let's try this again and hopefully not lock onto the claw through the other enemy. If I freeze trap here and then walk in the corner, right? He should be lined up with me. Almost. Good enough. Use trap for free kills. Oh, that... That priest trap took a deceptively long time to go off. That was scary. I thought for sure I was gonna get hit and die. I was like, oh, freeze trap, and then it went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm like, it's gonna blow up, right? <laughs> Which it didn't. Uh, could have died. Oh well. Pretty didn't even wants anything from this, but I'll on either way. I know green sky. I don't know if this is... Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, GG. Still combo kill through that. That's silly. For my future reference, what does Viridian get there? They get something. Yeah, Lava Scannon. I might as well check for Lava Scannon. If we're already waiting. Oh, this is a pretty fast run, actually. We're sub nine minutes in here, even with messing around. I'll take that. I think those extra kills were actually required for me to level. I was like scrounging that last three, four thousand that I needed. Ouch. Mission failed to not get hit. Ooh, there's an unlucky curve. I don't even think it was tracking me, it just... I don't like how the one in front of me is kind of like, that one's homing. It's doing little serpentines towards me. The other one just kind of made an L, so I was like, oh. Interesting. Whatever. Swapped into LNK in time. So close. Oh, I still got some hits. Could have been worse.
There we go. Cooling falls like it should be. Charge Vulcan out. Do big damage. Ooh, it just barely pulled away. Oh, oh, and I'm being targeted? That's just rude. <laughs> that was kind of a cute dodge. I kind of like that. I like zigzagging in between. That was kind of fun. I don't think I've ever tried doing that before. Does that actually work if you just do back and forth? I wonder. Because I, I did dodge all three by being mostly in the same spot. I just didn't commit to the, the zigzag. I just got my level up. I guess at that pace we could do one more. If it was like 13 minutes, I would have said no. Oof, my synchro. Rip synchro. Dango another chance at an MLNK. I received the buff. Game over. Nice. I think that'll result in a nice free kill. Wait, I spread out the damage pretty well there. I like that with a little bit of an accuracy boost, you can always land every heavy shot on this. Holy, the damage is so high. Dead. Actually dead. I'm not going to touch anything. Goodbye. Good job, chat. You got the glitch. Rip Dragon. Dead while shouting. Oh. I have to go back for a photon drop. Good thing I did not start walking ahead of time. Not as far behind on this room, at least. With Dango Tron. Is 
They're gonna stay behind. I'm just gonna kill some slimes. Two, one, two, three. Slime dupe. On something good. How did that slime live? Oh, it got pulled to the side. That's why. Like, wait a minute. Normally that just kills them. Oh well. Just two slimes. Nice, I got invincibility. So we're going to weaken up the wave for them with crap. Another confused trap down. Not bad. I can't tell if soundtrack paused or if they just left silence at the soundtrack again. I'm gonna say that's the art of trolling right there. I'm assuming it is paused. We'll find out. No. No, it's 30 seconds of silence again. It's almost a little too slow. That should work though. Spam in that confused trap, I'm out of there. I believe in you, Dangotron. One twenty two, congratulations, Dango. Rip Dango. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't believe. I didn't berserk there. I was like, nah, no way. I almost thought that was a Grant's 30, and I'm like, nah, that would have that would have triggered something. It's probably a two. Been a little weird. Thank you. There we go. We lined it up. It took a while, but I did it properly that time. I'm the winner. Come 
on. I think it'd be something better than that. Oh, the sorcerer's still alive? What? Alright, there we go. <laughs> I'll pick up another escape doll. Alright, no lavases. We went for lavas. And now rewarded. Moving on. It's going amazing. <laughs> Terrell's gonna be like S rank. I love watching Hunter suffer. More. More chaos from dead sorcerers. Out of here. Still have my little mini objective to not get struck during this. Almost failed. Almost failed again. Why are th oh, oh, the heat seeking is real. Get off me. Please get off me. Holy, that was like... <laughs> it was like four in a row where he's seeking me. Like, I, I could deal with random movement, but don't do that. That's just rude. We're cleaning up a couple. There we go. That time I got through without getting hit. Redemption. Finally. The last falls before break. The break... Resumption from break might be a little bit delayed since we're going a bit past six. But it won't be delayed by that much. Just because I do need to actually make the food. Oh, it just stopped in front of me. Cool. Elsa has found Tanka Mila. Nice. They got Satalo. Yeah, of course it's Satalo. <laughs> what else would it be, chat? Let's be real. Oh, I got slapped. Good damage here, I think. Uh oh. Uh. Oh! Hey, I wasn't sure if I could burst that fast enough. Okay, we did. <laughs> it's like, I'll not survive in that if it soul links me. I mean, I got escape dolls, but. It had like 4k left. Wanted to make sure that thing died. I waved my finger. I went, mm-mm. That's a nice 174. Not bad. Some boxes. Anything fun? probably keep the escape dolls. I gotta go back, get some telepipes, and then we'll take our break. Just a moment. Sonic doing the finger wave, pretty much. I actually made a profit as the Hue cast on that run? That's kind of rare. I haven't sold anything. Although I gotta repurchase some things. Because I'm gonna get 20k from the quest. I guess it kind of balanced out. 
can sell a escape doll. Oh, not with the trimates. Now I'm now I lost money. <laughs> Rip. Oh well. Still got like two hundred ninety thousand left. That should be fun. Why this character does other runs is to build a little bit of cash. Now only six levels away from using Red Ring. Welcome, Minus X. I have bad news for you. We're about to go on break. So, I think overall, what did we learn today? Uh, we got basically nothing <laughs> in terms of hunts. I guess we got, like, a spare Frozen Shooter. I guess technically Sacred Cloth is, like, a... It, it, it exists, I guess. It's not what we're hunting, but we got it. I guess in terms, Tycoon did get the Heavenly Arms. That was probably the one of the better drops of the day. Yeah, there, there was no blessing at all. So I think from that standpoint, we'll wrap it up with uh, probably some player requested quests mixed with some anniversary quests when we get back. Could be some temple, because that's usually the unloved one. Probably going to end up being surface at some point for Cannon Rouge. Uh, we did go for Galatine multiple times, didn't get it. So we'll just keep at it. If people want to do RTs because they need parasitic gene flow, we could probably squeeze in another Galatine chance there at the end of the day. But anyway, that's all for now. We're going to take a break. So we'll be back in about an hour and a half from now. Maybe about an hour 40, depending on uh, how long it takes to prep the ingredients. You got Promethean good with the Sorcerer me good? Oof. But I think with that, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching and see you in the next part.